Hello, everybody. Sorry, I'm just getting myself situated here. Give me just a sec. Um, oh, that's good. Okay. Okay, that's fine. Plug that in, put that there. Okay. Got my water. I've got a little croissant. got a tea and my little mushroom cup which I love I love this cup however <laughs> a lot of the tea leaves like seep out not a fan not a huge fan of that part um okay one sec <laughs> yeah Hello. Hi, everyone. How's it going? Yeah, look at this. It's very cute. But instead of doing like a like a sieve situation, there's there's little slits that the water comes through. And so a lot of the tea leaves just like come out. So I wouldn't necessarily say I recommend getting this cup, but it is very cute. <laughs> Hello. Yeah, I've got a croissant. I've got my fucking hat that I've been wearing every day. I literally just washed my hair and then immediately put the hat on. And Sam was like, why do you, why? <laughs> it's cold, Sam. I want the hat on, Sam. It's cold. So, you know, here we are. This is me now. <laughs> it's, it's not good, but it is good. Yeah, exactly. It's good aesthetic not good practical <laughs> yeah i'm cold dude clark's gotten really into showers lately which is great oh my god the sooner that you can get your kid into taking showers instead of baths your whole life's gonna change <laughs> your whole life changes dude that is so much finicky bullshit that you don't have to deal with anymore But it's great because I take a quick shower and then she just hops in and takes a quick shower, which means like my, I don't, I don't feel so much like I have to work in a time to have a shower. Does that make sense? <laughs> There is now a natural time for me to have a shower. It's the same time that my kid is having a shower. It's great. All this to say, I did just wash my hair. However, I'm cold. So the hat went immediately back on. <laughs> Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's just a knot that's naturally in the wood. It was meant to be mine. Mm. Just a normal croissant. Croissant. I prefer just plain ones. I know some people like the chocolatey ones. Clarky likes the chocolatey ones, but I like just normal. They're so buttery. Like, why do you need anything else, you know?
I suppose that's fair. They're all good. Mmm. A croissant that's like basically a sandwich on the inside. That's also good content, yeah. Yeah, they're all good pastries, Brent. You're right. Dude, the last couple days. Um, my sleep has been great. I feel like a new man, dude. <laughs> I've been drinking a ton of water. I've been sleeping a lot. Holy shit. Um, two nights ago, I was like, I have to make sure I get up early because I have to put together this whole thing for Clark. They had an event at school that was really cute that, um, the PTA put on where like the kids could, if they brought money and a list they could buy little presents for people in their life. Which I think is so cute. Because they were like, yeah, the kids get really excited because like they're in control, right? Their parents aren't there. They get to just look at the list and choose whatever they want for people. Um, and so I made her a little list and sent her off with money and she came home with a bunch of gifts and it was very cute. But like, I had to, I had to make sure that I got up found the money, made the list, put them in an envelope, made sure we didn't forget that, right? Like all of these things, but also like get her dressed and get her fed and blah, blah, blah. My new rule with Sam is if he's still awake at the time that we're getting up, I'm like, nope, you fucked up. Now you're involved. Now you're part of it. <laughs> now you're part of it, dude. You stayed up this late? you're getting Clark dressed while I make breakfast <laughs> or you can make breakfast while I get Clark dressed. Like th there's no way that you're going to stay up until right now and then be like, anyway, bye. <laughs> so we're like trying to get everything done. Right. But like that was the best morning we had had in a long time. I was like, I'm going to do this every morning. So this morning I woke up again at 6.30. 6.30 was when I woke up yesterday. It's like, I'm going to wake up at 6.30 again. And I did. Holy shit. The mornings are so much less of a scramble. I'm not about to sit here and be like, and now I'm going to wake up at 6.30 every morning. This is who I am now. I'm an early morning bitch like I used to be in childhood. I'm not going to pretend, but... But... If I get a good night's sleep and can wake up at 6.30, I now know it makes a world of difference, dude. <sighs> We're gonna play Pet Shop After Dark today. Um... Some of you might remember us playing the demo a couple demo days ago. I loaded up the game and it says a thing like, hold on. I see we've met before in an unfinished version of this world. So it acknowledges, it acknowledges that you played it before. Um, I don't know if it's gonna be like, do you wanna pick up from where we left off? I kind of doubt it. But, um, I went to look, I went to look for warnings. <laughs> the only thing that was in the warning area was a note that said, the crashes are intentional. <laughs> I was like, all right, we're in for a, we're in for a meta experience, I can tell. 
Yeah, it's gonna be one of those games where you're doing something and the game just shuts itself off. You know that shit. <laughs> but uh, yeah, we, we thought that the demo was really interesting. It looks like a lot of people spend about four hours with this game, so it should, it should time out perfect. Um, we've also got Dracula tonight. I totally forgot to make... Uh, to we'll double check who's in the next section of reading if I need to make new bodies or not. So we'll see. Mm. I think I got this cup on Amazon, to be honest. But... I was saying, I don't know if you can see. Do you see all of that like sediment at the bottom? Um, the the holes in this, these like slits, are where the water's supposed to come through. Leaves just go straight through those, <laughs> so it doesn't it doesn't filter out the leaves as well as I think you might hope. Yeah, I don't think I need to make anybody else, but I did not double check, so we'll see. Mm-hmm. I crocheted it. All right, I've eaten my thing. I'm trying to get Octo to play, um, Case of the Golden Idol. He was like, but I'm playing a bunch of Mario games right now. And I'm like, <laughs> I would watch the shit out of Octo playing Case of the Golden Idol, dude. <laughs> no! No, that's an accident. You said I wanna be your girlfriend. You said I wanna be your girl. I've had that song stuck in my head, dude. You want to listen to a, a bop? Girlfriend by Hemlock Springs. This song's been stuck in my head for days. <laughs> Octo playing Mario for a month has been way more wholesome than Octo playing Sonic for a month. I'm going to message him that right now. I didn't say who said it. I just said, FYI, someone in my chat just said. <laughs> All right, let's get this working properly. Who said I wanna be your girlfriend? Who said I wanna be your girl? Bye. Why? There we go. <laughs> this is what's hard. So in order for me to have um, this be circular only on this screen, I have to have two sources that both use the same webcam. So they can't be active at the same time. So... Um, when we swap from the full screen to the circle screen, I have to deactivate that one and then activate this one. But if I had forgotten last time to deactivate one of them, things get jumbly. <laughs> things get a bit jumbly. 
Okay, let's have a little bit of the coconut ginger green tea, one of my faves. You can find it at dodgercoffeeco.com. It wasn't in there for a while because our relationship with our old supplier fell through, but um, we, we managed to source a blend that is like identical. It's so good. Alrighty, you guys ready for a spooky time? You guys ready for a spooky time? Have any of you played, wait, really quick. <laughs> um, Have any of you played, there's two games. The first one is called Milk Inside a Bag of Milk Inside a Bag of Milk. And the second one is called Milk Outside a Bag of Milk Outside a Bag of Milk. They have insanely high reviews. The first one, I think, is only 99 cents. I think it's I think it's like only an hour long max. The second one looks like it's quite a bit longer and has way more like like the the quality of the art and everything is is way higher. And it's nine bucks. And I've had them sitting in my cart and I'm not sure whether or not to buy them. I think I'm going to get milk inside a bag of milk inside a bag of milk first because it's 99 cents and see if it's even if I even can figure out what the fuck is going on in that game. <laughs> I opened the game. It showed me a screen that says what? Oh, the Steam Fate. I was like, you bought the game before me? I just started talking about it. Anyway, it said it was it said it was similar to Omori. I don't know I don't know how accurate that is. Um, but it looks fucking weird. Anywho, speaking of fucking weird. Unfortunately, while both you hold on. Yeah, there we go. Unfortunately, while both you and I still have those memories, not everyone does. And so we will have to start again from the beginning. It's fine. I've been waiting very long already. A bit of extra repetition is nothing. But I do hope that we will meet again soon. If you ever find yourself stuck, check the hints in the menu for help. Okay. bit loud I think oh my god I'm recalling that this music gets like extremely repetitive <laughs> if, I, if I'm remembering correctly um, okay how is how's how's the audio now is this okay Okay. Wow, it's really dark in here. Like some kind of gothic plant shop. It's a pet shop, actually, though we do sell plants, too. Oh, um, I'm here about the job. Do you fulfill all the requirements? I think so. Let me double check. Pet sitter wanted ASAP must have no allergies to animals or plants. Overnight stay required. I don't have any allergies, and I can stay overnight. Perfect, you'll do. What, really? You don't wanna like do a background check or something? At this short notice, I'm afraid I can't be picky. In any case, the job is very simple, so even an idiot could do it. Am I being insulted? I just need you to water the plants and feed the pets once a day. Once you've done that, you're free to do whatever you want for the rest of the day. I just ask that you stay inside the shop. That's all? Yes, that's all. This sounds a bit too good to be true. Especially since apparently I'll be paid more per day than I make in a week. Oh, but there is one thing. Do not under any circumstances turn off the lights. Even at night? Even at night. Even if it is hard to sleep. I suggest using an eye mask. 
I've left some in the sleeping area. That's weird, but I guess I don't know much about taking care of plants or pets. Maybe they need the light for some reason. Water plants, feed the pets. Don't turn off the lights. Got it. Everything has been done for today. You can just relax until nighttime. I'm sorry I can't show you around, but I've left a to-do list on the counter. Thanks, I'll do my best. I'll be back after one day and one night. I leave my shop in your care. Wow, she really just left me here on my own without even asking for my name? What if I was lying and I was allergic to plants and pets? Not that I am, but still. I guess this is where I'll be staying for uh, the next day and night. Is that two days counting today? I always get confused by stuff like that. At least I don't really have any work to do tonight. Is it okay for me to be paid to do nothing? I guess I shouldn't complain. Might as well take a look around first. Oh, a note on the counter. It must be the to-do list she was talking about. Pretty much just repeats what she said earlier. Oh, there's a note on the bottom, though. The pets are shy. Don't worry if you can't see them. What's that supposed to mean? The plants in this room all look healthy, I guess. I don't really know much about plants. Let's check out the next room. I guess this is the pet area. I can't see any pets. The cages and tanks are all empty. Maybe this is what the note meant when it said the pets are shy. Am I supposed to feed the empty cages? I'll worry about that tomorrow. Oh, this room seems to be empty. It's just a long hall. Not sure what this little vase in the middle is doing either. Oh, this is probably where I'm supposed to sleep. More of a sofa than a bed. And I don't think I even saw any light switches on the way here. I was told not to turn the lights off, but... I don't even know if I can. Maybe this is one of those smart houses and it has remote control lights. To be honest, the lights are really dim anyway. I shouldn't have any trouble getting to sleep. <sighs> Help me. Please, anyone, let me out. You can see like a weird outline of a person. Can you see it? Oh, morning already. I'm so sleepy, and I think I... Weird, I could swear I had a dream last night, but I can't remember anything about it. Oh well, I might as well get to work. What was it again? Water the plants, feed the pets. Right, and don't turn off the lights. This bookshelf is pretty empty. Maybe the owner here doesn't really like reading. I wonder what these books are about. This one is just filled with strange symbols. I can't read any of it. Maybe it's like those puzzle books that you're supposed to decipher. Huh, these books don't have anything written on the spine, or anything written inside them either. All the pages are blank. I guess they're probably notebooks for writing in. Pretty fancy to get a hardback book just for jotting stuff down. Wow, it's really dark out. That's strange though, it shouldn't be that late in the day. Maybe a storm's coming. Good thing I don't have to go outside at all. Oh, it's just as empty today as it was yesterday. Not sure why I expected anything different. What's the point of having a hallway here? It only goes between two places. I guess it makes for good exercise. It's just a small glass vase filled with water. Or maybe it's a goldfish bowl? There's nothing in it though. It's probably for decoration. I've heard rich people do stuff like that sometimes. Just put stuff out for no reason at all. Must be nice to have enough stuff and space you can do that. I still don't see any of the pets. I'd get it if the fish were just really small, but these cages are pretty big. The note did say not to worry if I couldn't see the pets, though. I guess I'll just try putting food in the cages and tank and see how it goes. Oh, the food's gone. I mean, something must be eating it, even if I can't see anything. I guess I shouldn't worry about it too much. Even if I can't see the animals, they're probably still hungry. that's all the pets. Not that I can see them. This cupboard is filled with bottles. They all say universal pet food on them in big purple letters. The liquid inside is purple too. It doesn't look appetizing, but there's no smell at least. I'm not really the target audience. <laughs> Maybe pets like this kind of stuff. It's probably easier to drink your food than to eat it anyway. This cupboard is locked. I wonder what's inside. It's probably just pet supplies since this is a pet shop. If it's locked, it probably means I don't need to use anything inside of it. I'll just leave it alone. 
Watering the plants. It should be more straightforward than feeding the pets. At least I can see all the plants. I should probably double check the to-do list just to make sure I don't miss anything. I hope that's enough water. Or maybe it's too much? I'm probably not actually qualified for this job. Please don't die on me, plants. Okay, that should be the last plant I need to water. Water the plants. Feed the pets. Do not turn off the lights. The pets are shy. Don't worry if you can't see them. Hmm. This shelf is full of seeds. At least, I think they're seeds. A lot of them are in languages I can't read. But the pictures on them look like plants. I wonder what this one... Oh, I don't know why, but... I have a feeling I shouldn't touch these. The average horror protagonist for real. I didn't do anything, yeah. Guess there isn't anything left for me to do. It's still pretty early in the day. Maybe I'll take a nap. Not sure why, since I haven't done much, but I feel tired already. Can't you hear me? I'm right here. I don't have much power left. I need to try again. Huh? Why am I at the shop front? I just put my head down for a quick nap. What are you talking about? Anyway, looks like you've taken care of my shop well enough in my absence. I thank you for your efforts. Oh, I, it wasn't much, really. Here's your payment. Oh, thank you. This is a lot of money. With a little bonus for any trouble you might have run into. Trouble? No, there wasn't any trouble, really. I see. Why are you still here? Oh, I'm sorry. Um, I'll just get going then. Looks like your efforts were for naught. What? Did you think I wouldn't notice? You must know this is pointless. You can't make somebody interact with something that doesn't even exist in their world. Though I must admit, it was rather entertaining watching you try. Did I strike a nerve? The game crashed and restarted. Wait, can you see it? <gasps> no, come on. Oh my God, it started a new, it's, it, oh my God, I had to grab a totally new, oh my God, okay. So it restarted, which again, by the way, when you buy this game, there's a note that says crashes are intentional. <laughs> so it restarted. Please help me. The light, destroy it. Oh, it's loud again. No! Okay. Huh? Why am I here? Wait, I think I'm here for a job? My memory's a bit foggy for some reason. What was I supposed to do again? Turn off the lights? No, wait. That's what I'm not supposed to do. I need to water the plants and feed the pets. This bookshelf is pretty empty. Maybe the owner doesn't really like reading. Same symbol is repeated over and over. It looks kind of like a light bulb, I think. And then there's a page with a big X on it. The next page is completely black. It's weird, it kind of feels like it's sucking me in. <laughs> These books don't have anything written on the spine. It's blank inside too. Wait, no. It's faint, but I can see traces of letters, maybe. I can't read any of it though. It's so dark out, I can't see anything at all. Is this really a window? It's just as empty today as it was yesterday. Wait, yesterday? What was I doing here yesterday? A small glass vase. It looks so fragile. Just a touch and it would fall to the ground. Okay, I should feed the pets. Wait, what am I talking about? There aren't any animals in these cages. But for some reason, I know I need to feed them. 
food disappeared. Well, I hope you enjoyed it, pet. What am I talking about? I can get the pet food out from here. Wait, how did I... The cupboard is filled with bottles of pet food. It's still locked. Still? Well, that should be all of them. I hope they enjoyed the food. I should water all the plants. I know it won't take too long. But why am I so sure of that? I hope you're enjoying the water, little plant. Well, that's all the plants, just as I thought. Didn't take long. Do turn off the lights. The pets are shy, so worry if you can't. Oh my gosh. This shelf is full of seeds. At least I think they're seeds. A lot of them are in languages I can't read, but the pictures on them look like plants. I wonder what this one... I don't know why, but I have a feeling I shouldn't touch these. I did all I was supposed to do, I think. Almost my job here again. Ugh, my head hurts. I should take a break. Why didn't you? The light, it's right there. Just delete it from existence. Oh my God. Is this gonna be, <laughs> is this gonna be one of those situations where I have to like go into the file that the game is in and there's gonna be a, there's gonna be something in there just labeled light and I have to delete it. <laughs> Why am I at the shop front? I had just, what was I doing? What are you talking about? Anyway, it looks like you've taken care of my shop well enough in my absence. I thank you for your efforts. My efforts? Here's your payment. Oh, thank you. It's a lot of money. The little bonus for any trouble you might have run into. Trouble? I mean, I don't think... I see. Why are you still here? Sorry, um, I'll just get going then. I told you already, didn't I? This is pointless. Why don't you give it up? We loop again. The light, delete it. Yep. It just, oh, oh my God, it just opened up a file for me. So the game opened up a folder and there is a file in here called light. I will delete it. Why am I here? Wait, I think I'm here for a job. My memory's a bit foggy. What was I supposed to do again? Turn off the lights? No, wait, that's what I'm not supposed to do. I need to water the plants and feed the pets. Well, I've deleted it, so. It's so dark, I can't see. Is this really a window? Maybe the owner here doesn't really like reading. Same symbols repeated over and over. It looks kind of like a light. Then there's a page with a big X, and the next page is completely black. It's really faint, but I see traces of letters. I can't read any of it. Ho ho. Huh? It's really dark. Wait, the lights are off. That was the one thing I wasn't supposed to do. Oh, how could I screw up such an easy job? I need to find a light switch and fix this. Wait, why am I in this room? I could have sworn I was... Well, I'll worry about that later. First, I need to turn on the lights somehow. Strange, it doesn't seem like light is coming in from the window, but it's still barely bright enough to see. 
The lights are out though, so why isn't it pitch black in here? Gives insider blank. If I hold it at just the right angle, I can see someone's handwriting. Knock on the wall four times. What does that mean? Oh, there's something between the pages. A black and white photo. I don't remember seeing that earlier. Oh. It's so quiet. I can't hear anything but my own breathing. I feel like this room looks a bit different. I think I heard something. <gasps> what was that? A door just appeared, but how? It's even darker in this room than the... Wait, is that telephone floating? This telephone is floating. Can it even make calls like this? I could try. Oh, I don't know. No response. Okay, I need to find a number. Okay, even if the lights are off, I can still feed the pets. Why does it feel like I'm being watched? Something ate the food. That's all the pets fed, I think. This cupboard is filled with bottles of pet food. Why is the pet food purple? That's a great question. This cupboard is locked. I can't open it. It's dark in here too. I guess the lights are connected through a central system or something. I guess I should water the plants. Some water for you, little plant. That should be all the plants. Okay. Shelf is filled with seed packets. There's one packet that doesn't have a label. I wonder what kind of seed it is. Right. Knock on the wall four times. What's the number? I can't find it yet. What happens if I just go to bed? I don't know what's going on, but it's not my problem. I watered the plants, I fed the pets. I'll just have to explain that the lights turned off on their own. I can worry about that tomorrow. For now, I need to sleep. Why didn't you help? Please don't leave me. Huh? Why am I here? Oh, the lights are on! I could have sworn that... Huh? What was I saying? You were talking about the lights? Oh, um... Was there a problem with them? No, I... I don't think so? You don't sound very sure. Sorry, I, I I don't know. I think I'm still sleepy. Maybe my thoughts are a little fuzzy. It looks like you've taken care of my shop well enough while I was away. So here's your pay. Wow, that's a lot of money. Just a little extra for your troubles. There wasn't any trouble, really. At least I don't think so. I see. So why are you still here? Um, right. I'll just be going then. Haven't you realized yet? All of your attempts are futile. You're wasting your time and mine. Yeah, it, it, uh, it acknowledges. <laughs> Please don't leave me. Oh my gosh. It acknowledges that um, you've played before if you played the demo. 
uh, when we loaded it up, it was like, it seems like we've met before, but our story must start over sort of a thing. Um, so yeah, it acknowledges that you played the demo, but you do start from, from the beginning, which I'm, which I'm glad for. <laughs> okay. Please don't leave me. I need your help, please. Why am I here? I think I'm here for a job. My memory's a bit foggy. What was I supposed to do? Turn off the lights? I need to water the plants and feed the pets. <gasps> okay, so the light file is back in there. It's blank inside. I can't read any of it. Okay, I'm wondering like what... This bookshelf is pretty empty. I wonder what these books are about. The same symbols repeated like a light bulb and a page with a big X. It's so dark out, I can't see anything. Is this really a window? We need to figure out how to find the phone number before we turn the light off. It's just as empty today as it was yesterday. Wait, yesterday? What was I doing here yesterday? Small glass vase, it looks fragile. Okay. I should feed the pets. There aren't any animals, but for some reason I know I need to feed them. That should be all of them. I hope they enjoyed the food. I can get the pet food from here. It's still locked. This is the number four six four one three four three. I'm gonna write it down four six. Oh, unless those other X's also count, it could be four six one four one one. Three, four, three. Four, six, one, four, one, one, three, four, three. Or four, six, four, one, three, four, three. Okay, we'll try both of those. What are the plants? Okay, last time there was one plant, there was one packet that didn't have shelves full of seeds. I don't know why, but I have a feeling I shouldn't touch those. Okay, I'm deleting the light. It's really dark, the lights are off. Could have sworn, I'll worry about it later. I need to turn on the lights. So, I can see someone's handwriting. Knock on the wall four times. Black and white photo. That's the photo. I go in here. There's nothing there. door just appeared. Even if the lights are off, I can still feed the pets. I already did. I already did. There's one packet that doesn't have a label. I wonder what kind of seed it is. Okay, so I can't, I can't grab it. Okay. So, okay, let's try this. Let's see if this works. Okay. F 
four, six, one, four. Oh, there's only three. There's only three numbers. What? There's only three numbers? No response. Wait, there's only three numbers. I'm wondering if it's like the number of plants, the number of pets, which would be five and then six. But then what's the last thing? If it was a goldfish bowl, it would be one maybe. There's a file in here that's just a pound sign and it just says four on it. I'm trying to I'm trying to like keep in mind that this game is utilizing like the game but also the folder, right? So we have the folder open at the same time. So when we turned off the light, we had to literally delete the file called light. And there's a text document in here that's that's just the the hashtag, right? The pound sign. Um so I was like, "Oh, well that's it wants a number." Right? So maybe that's it, but when I open it, it just says four. Well, it says, hmm, there's like a space and then four. I don't know if that means zero four. No, no. It might be something I have to do while the lights are on. Is there a problem? No, I don't think so. You don't sound very sure. Oh, hints, options, interesting. Your thoughts are fuzzy, here's your pay. I don't think there was any trouble. I'm leaving now. Not this again. It's getting boring. Thanks so much for introducing me to pros and codes. I can't put that game down. Yeah, I've actually been playing it a lot 
in my off time as well. I realized that if you really love a quote, you can favorite it to go look at it again, which I think is a very cute touch. So if there's a quote from a book that you really love, you can click the little heart and it'll keep it for you. Why am I here? I think I'm here for a job. My memory is foggy. Money glitch. What happens if I just go to bed and don't feed anything? I can't sleep yet. I haven't finished my job. Boo! <laughs> Let me leave. Traces of letters, maybe. I can't read any of it. I wonder if these are supposed to be a clue. If the number in the number file is four, it's if it's three, four, two, maybe? Here, let's try it. Okay, so these explain how to get the door open. The file says five now. Does that mean, oh my God, it's the number of, of resets I've done, I bet. It's keeping track. Interesting. Oh my god, I found it. <laughs> Holy shit. Okay. So each time you reset, as you as you travel through God, this is interesting. As you as you go through each room, it creates a new folder that is the room. And I was like, what if I click on the hall folder? And when you click on the hall folder, there's a folder that says back room. And then there's a file that says telephone. And when you open that up, it gives you the number. <laughs> okay. 502. I guess it makes sense. Hello? What? Who's there? You can hear me? Oh, it's the telephone. Right. Um, yeah, I can hear you. Who is this? Help me, please. Huh? I I'm trapped. In the telephone? No, it's not. It's hard to explain. Is this some kind of prank? N no, no, no. I I need your help, please. Uh, I mean, I can try, but I don't know if... Thank you. Uh, um, how am I supposed to help? Where are you trapped? Here. Here? In this room? Yes, but no. Sorry, I don't really know what you're... You don't need to understand. I just need you to help. Okay, what do you want me to do? Three rings. Huh? There are three rings in this shop. I need you to find them. Uh, okay, three rings. Where are they? The first is hidden in the forest. What? Read the sign. It'll show you the way. That's all I can tell you. 
What on earth was that? What on earth was that? This is really weird. Was that phone call a prank or something? But I was the one who called. Maybe I should just forget about all that. Cause like I'm here to do a job after all and I could just water the plants and feed the pets and call it a day and I'm pretty sure there wasn't actually a forest inside of this place. So, I mean, I think I would have noticed, but if that, what if that was somebody hired by the owner to keep an eye on me, you know, to make sure I'm not like sleeping on the job or something. Maybe this is some kind of extra credit scavenger hunt. I guess that's no point worrying about it. I should probably just do my job. Okay, I fed all the pets. Now that I think about it, I guess this place might be the closest the shop has to a forest. You know, since it has plants at all. The world's tiniest forest. But I don't see a ring anywhere. Whoever was on the telephone said that there was a sign uh, that would show me the way. Is there anything like a sign here? The shelf is filled with seed pockets and there's one packet that doesn't have a label. It's just a row of X's. I wonder what that's supposed to mean. X, X, X. Well, hold on. Let's see. We're going to the shop. The cupboards. The pet food? Oh, no, never mind. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> the front. The list? Shelf, there's a seed. Okay. Sorry, I opened up the shop folder and then opened up a folder called pets and it just had a bunch of like weird pictures of animals in there. Okay. The three X's. Lights coming. The lights are out, so why is it pitch black? Three X's. Yeah, remember, no helping, please. If I call it again. Find the ring in the forest. Um, about that. I might have screwed something up. Why didn't you read the sign? Honestly, I'm not really good with puzzles. Only you can do this. Are you sure? Because I think a lot of people would be better than this than me. Please don't give up. You can try again now. Uh, what's that supposed to mean? Okay, interesting. So I fucked something up, but it's reset it. are looking kind of dry again. I could have sworn I watered some earlier. Oh, you have to water them in a certain order? If it's even supposed to mean anything. Three circles. There are more symbols now. Two, three, four, five. Five circles. Fewer symbols this time. One circle. How 
is this thing changing anyway? Now there's nothing. Maybe I imagined it. I don't think I did anything special. I guess I was just overthinking things. Wait, did that plant just... Uh, it definitely looks bigger. It's like a little tree. A bunch of little trees. Are plants supposed to grow this fast? Oh. Rewinding. Huh? The plants just disappeared. What was all that about? Oh, I think I see something glowing. It's a ring! This must be the ring the person on the phone was talking about. I wonder how it's glowing, though. Okay. So now we call. Hello? Did you find it? The ring, you mean? I I'm not sure if it's your ring, but I found one with the plants. It should have two symbols on it. One within and one without. One without? Like on the outside? Uh, oh, now that you mention it. Yeah, there's, um, there's something inscribed on it. Show me. Huh? Through the phone? Hold it up to the light. Uh, I mean, there's not much light in here, but okay. And the symbol within as well? Okay, I guess. I mean, I'm not sure what the point of this is. Thank you. That is all I need from you. Huh? At least for now. Okay, because I, I should probably get back to my job, to be honest. Ah, uh, yes. Your job. I wouldn't want anybody to get suspicious. What are you talking about? I think I might have changed too much already. Let's start this again. Start what? Reset. Reset. You're back. I'll be waiting. Huh? Why am I here? Wait! I think I'm here for a job. Yeah, my memory's a bit foggy for some reason. What was I supposed to do? Turn off the lights? No, that's what I'm not supposed to do. I need to water the plants and feed the pets. Just as empty today as it was yesterday. What happens if I water these? I should feed the pets. Sure, but give me a sec. <laughs> if I water them in the order it told me to last time, what happens? That's all the plants, just as I thought. It didn't take long. Ah, shoot. <laughs> okay. Never mind. Okay, so I delete the light. The lights are out. I go here. Go in. We say what's up to our new bestie. Who's there? It's you. Oh, thank you. Huh? We have no time to waste. I can't keep this up forever. Um, I have no idea what you're talking about, and I think you probably have the wrong person. I'm just here on a part-time job. I don't have time to explain. I need you to find the next ring. What ring? What do you mean, next? There is one pet who is very hungry. You will find it if you wait. Wait? Wait for what? Let it indulge. Oh, wait, who, wh who are you, anyway? I'm counting on you. What on earth was that? Uh, yikes, I don't like this. What was all that about? Next ring? Indulge the pet? Why did whoever was on the phone talk like they knew me? I have a bad feeling about this. Maybe I should just do what the owner told me to do and forget about that call. A 
Okay, I'm just going to feed the pets like normal. And I don't see a ring anywhere. The phone call was probably just a prank. Didn't even make sense. You'll find it if you wait. What is it? Why will I find it if I wait? So I'm assuming, here's my guess. We're gonna feed all of these. It's gonna look totally normal. But if we just sit in here, it'll ask for more food. That's all the pets fed. But it might be that I'm supposed to just like not feed them. Just sit in here and not feed them. Wait, it says. Okay, we're waiting, dude. I'm uncomfortable. <laughs> How are you guys? Good? I just got here, should I be nervous? <laughs> um, we're playing a weird game. Almost, it says. All right. Okay. Why is this making me so anxious? It's gonna be fine. Almost what, haha? -ha. <laughs> gonna be in that big tank. It's the only one we can't see through. Why is it having us wait for so long? I just heard something. Did a pet get out of its cage? I can't see any keyhole. Is it locked from the inside? Where is this animal? It's dark here too. 
too. I guess the lights are connected through a central system. Blah, blah, blah. I think maybe I needed to not feed them. We might have to do this waiting game again. Hello? Find the next ring. Wait for the hungry pet. Indulge it. Okay. I mean, I was trying. That's what I was trying to do. Okay. Run for the long haul, boys. Keep doing that. <gasps> a pet got out. Oh my God, I bet it's in the folder. Wait a sec. <laughs> It. One of them has its mouth open. Indulge it. I'm gonna call her again. Cause I'm I'm almost convinced I fucked something up. Find the next ring. Wait for the hungry pet and indulge it. 
but... There, yeah, sorry. So like, this is, this is what I was talking about that I saw. So this is one of the, this is one of the pictures, right? Um, so it's things like that. It's just, some of them look weirder than others. Some of them are literally just eyeballs. Um, so I was like, is that the one I'm supposed to indulge? But like indulge how? And then there's a, there's a file here that wasn't here before. That's two, when you open it up, it's two squares and two circles. really interesting this game like populates these folders as like as they become populated in the game <sighs> okay sorry I think I think I messed something up and it's not telling me I think I might be wrong but we're gonna go to bed and see I don't know what's going on, but it's not my problem. Why won't you help me? I need you. The lights are on. What was I saying? We were talking about the lights. Was there some problem? I'm wondering if she's gonna mention the pet. I think I'm still sleepy. Looks like you've taken care of my shop. Okay, so I guess, yeah, the pet that we think got out, nothing happened with that. Okay. Yeah, this game is basically like, it's a meta game, but the idea is, it seems to be that you're stuck in a time loop. Um, there's a, cre you're at a pet shop, You've been asked to take care of these pets and these plants. Um, but you've just been told, like, don't turn off the lights. But the character themselves, they walk around and they can't even find a light switch anyway. So they're like, I can't turn off the lights, right? Um, this person that we can now see, like, a better outline of than we could before. She seems to be getting, like, more vibrant the more we play. But this person um, is a creature we believe that is like one of the creatures that is stuck in this pet shop. It's it's giving me it's giving me a pet shop of horrors vibes if any of you guys watch that old anime. Um she's like some kind of creature that's in there. And uh she's trying to figure out how to communicate with us, but it's it's communicating with the character and also communicating with us the player. So the way that she communicates with us the player is through a a folder that opened on its own that has a bunch of stuff inside of it um and as you play the game it populates but like like the very first thing that it has you do with it is there's a file in here that's just called light and so you realize like oh i'll delete the file called light and when you do that the lights go out in the game so that's the first that's the first way that the folder interacts with the game um, we've found like important numbers in these folders and stuff. So I'm you, it's an interesting game of like, you're trying to figure out like what, what is in a folder, like what's in these folders that I can affect and what is something I need to find in the game. Okay. So we turn off the lights. So I've deleted the light folder. It's dark. The lights are off. I wasn't supposed to do that. So another important aspect is the character themselves does not remember any loop. Like they they sometimes remember bits of of the loops, but like they don't they don't remember a ton. It's so quiet. I can't hear anything. Knock on the wall. What was that? A door appeared. We go inside.
floating telephone. 502, I think it was. It's you. Thank you. We have no time to waste. I can't keep this up forever. I need you to find the next ring. There's one pet who is very hungry. You will find it if you wait. Let it indulge. I'm counting on you. So, so my question was, were we meant to wait before or after feeding the pets initially? Let it indulge to me it made me think like it's meant to eat the food that you give it and then eventually it'll ask for more. Let it indulge, right? Um, but maybe we're supposed to just like leave it alone and not feed them at all and wait. I don't see a ring anywhere. That phone call was probably a prank. It didn't even make sense. We'll find it if you wait. What is it and why will I find it? Okay, I'm gonna wait here for a second and see if the same notices come up at the top. They do. So the dot dot dots tell us whether or not, like how close we are. I hate the phrasing, let it indulge. Me too. <laughs> Elena raid. Lena, oh my gosh, thank you so much for the raid. Hello, everybody. We're waiting for a, a creepy pet to come out and indulge, whatever that means. Sending the strip and love back. Oh my gosh, welcome everybody, hello. So uh, Sam raided you and now you're raiding me? That's very sweet. I'm here for the raid, but I'm also going to bed. Yo, I appreciate you coming along for the raid ride. Get some sleep. Hey, thank you so much, Lena. I hope you had a good stream. Welcome everybody. Oh my goodness, so many people here to watch me play this weird pet shop game. Now you have to raid Strippin. What? He's asleep. <laughs> it was Lena's birthday. Oh my gosh, I had no idea. Happy birthday. Oh, I hope it was fun. Welcome everybody. Um, I'm Dodger. I'm uh, Strippin's wife. And we're playing, uh, I, I try to play a different game every day. We do some first impressions, these sort of vibes here. So we're playing a game called A Pet Shop After Dark. I played the demo during one of the, one of the Steam demo events. And um, it's kind of a weird, it's a weird like meta game where you're a person who's helping out at a pet shop, but you're given like these weird, you know, sort of gremlin-y instructions of like, just don't turn the lights off. Everything will be fine as long as you don't turn the lights off. Um, there's some kind of a creature, almost it says, there's some kind of a creature here that is trapped and it's trying to get out. And it, it appears to us to be a nice creature. I don't know. I've seen enough shit to know it's probably not but we're trying to help it escape. And when things go wrong, it loops the day. The character inside of the game doesn't fully understand what's happening. Like they have weird deja vu, but they don't realize like, oh, I'm reliving the same day. Um, obviously we the play player realize that, but the game uh, like, Force closes and opens itself. It's opened a folder for us that has had things in it that we've had to delete. Um, so this this entity inside of the pet shop is talking to the character, but it's also talking to us, the player. Uh, so it's been it's been fun. It's been interesting. So far, nothing like overtly spooky. I would say it's good at like the the sort of like uh, tension more than anything else. I guess. We're having a normal one. Yeah. We're having a normal ass day here. <laughs> uh, so yeah. Um, if you came over on the raid, thank you. I hope you'll stick around. Oh, good. I think I just heard something. Did a pet get out of its cage? So now if I feed them, something ate the food. That's all the pets fed, I think. So now what, we keep waiting? Are 
Are there any fourth wall breaks in the game besides the entity? Not, not that we've seen so far. The person who owns the pet shop talks to the entity. But the entity seems to be the only thing that talks to us. Like when the game restarts, she'll be like, you came back kind of a thing. <laughs> Ooh. Oh, I can't tell. So, let it indulge. What does that mean? It's filled with pet food. The cupboard is locked. Wait a sec. I can't see a keyhole. Is it locked from the inside? So the little waiting thing is gone now, which is why I left last time. I guess the lights are connected through a central system. I should water the plants. Okay. We've watered the plants. I have played Doki Doki. This is not like Doki Doki so far. <laughs> like the um the way that the game like takes control of your computer and like opens files and, and you know force closes the game and stuff like that. That's similar. Um but the way in which like I don't know. I guess I guess there are similarities. It's just not as intense as Doki Doki. Like Doki Doki is such a situation. <laughs> There's one packet that doesn't have a label. But it still won't let me look at it. We're back in here. I've I've tried to let it indulge, dude. Pages inside are blank. Knock on the wall four times, which is how we got the door. The photo, which we had before. Still barely bright enough to see. I I still think when she says, oh, it sounds like something got out. I think it got out into this folder. So I just need to figure out what it is. I open this up, there's the two dots and the two circles. We open up the shop, we go to the pets. There's pictures of pets. There's six pets, and then there's the one that I showed you guys. It's just a mouth. And there's an X on it. And I don't know. What if I delete it? I've deleted that pet. Now what happens? <laughs> I'm gonna try talking to her again and see what happens. See if she's like, oh, you fucked something up, dude. Find the next ring. Wait for the hungry pet. Indulge it. Okay. She seems to think everything's fine. I did, I deleted the pet. What if I delete all the pets? Then what? There's a file in here called pet food. And at first I was like, like the, the pet gets out, right? So then you could open this up and just be like, just eat, dude. Indulge, right? That's the whole point. So I tried to open that up, the, the, the pet food file, but it's, a, it's not like a text file, it's... The 
list. Plants, the shelf with the seed. The bedroom with the books. There's a photo, you open the book and it just says four. Weird. I think it's because like four knocks, I assume. Yes, it is a meta game. Don't ask us, we're being monitored. As in like, you get timed out if you try to help. That is true. Yeah, a heads up. Oh, I probably should have said that. A heads up to everybody who just came in. Hey, hey, hey. Really quick, just FYI. Um. I ask my mods to time out people who try to help me. <laughs> so if you came in here off the back of that raid and, and you came in hot and you were like, oh, I know what she should do. I'm very sorry if you were deleted off the planet. Uh, that was <laughs> my mods are just doing what I asked them to do. I really like figuring games out on my own. Um, we have a place in our Discord called the Spoiler Void. It's literally where people just go to scream about everything I'm doing wrong or everything they want me to do or whatever. So you can go in there. You can go in there and scream. You can go to the void if you want to. Uh, otherwise, uh, we just ask that you you hang and watch and um, you know, scream to yourself in the comfort of your home. Okay, cool. Ah, ah. <laughs> I deleted myself. That's what I get. <laughs> Okay, what the fuck? The pet got out. The pet got out. There's pet food inside. There sure is. There sure is pet food inside. The cupboard is locked from the inside. Okay. What do these mean? Two little squares and two circles? What does that mean? Gone anywhere else on the wall. <laughs> I was talking to someone about the Necronomicon. They said something like, it's just a Pokedex for ancient creatures. Um, my kid has been asking me to read her the monster manual at bedtime. She's four. So I've been reading the monster manual at bedtime and, you know, omitting sections that are like, they love to rip out the spines of their enemies and use them as toothpicks, you know. Uh, <laughs> you know, just editing some of that stuff, but occasionally we'll read a thing and I'll think that it's totally innocent and she'll be so offended by it. She hates flumps, hates them. Um, cause I was explaining that they are parasitic. They're nice, but like they're parasitic, right? So they like take energy from good people. They only take as much as they need and in return they give you secrets. And she was like, they don't ask? <laughs> And I was like, well, I don't, I mean, I, I'm sure some flumps have learned to ask, but they don't always ask. And she was like, um, no, a flump may not take my energy. I was like, even in exchange for a secret. And she was like, no, they can ask. I was like, you know what? Consent is key, my dude. I've taught you well. <laughs> okay. Okay. So here's the situation we're in, right? Um, this entity is asking us to find keys. We found the first key easy peasy. The second key, they were like, one of the pets is always hungry. So let it indulge are the words. 
So we waited in here for a while, which is when you all showed up. We waited in here for a while, and then we heard a weird noise, like a pet got out. So the two things that I've been trying to figure out is, number one, can we get this open somehow? That has the pet food inside. I know we know how to open it because we feed the pets, dude. So like, why can't I just open this and let it eat? Um, the other thing is this folder, right? So I was like, okay, well, if you go to the shop and well, if you open up the pets folder now, there's nothing in there because <laughs> I deleted them all. Um, but there's, there's a folder that popped up here that's two squares, a white square and a black square, and then two circles. I don't know what that means. This is attempt number seven, apparently. I've looked in all of the, each room that you go into creates a new folder. So the second you go into a room, a folder is made. So I've looked in the folders. Okay, um, I might need to reset this again. She seems to think it's fine, but I don't know if it's fine. Five oh two. Find the ring. Wait for the hungry pet and indulge it. I'm trying. I'm trying to indulge it, dude. I haven't used a hint yet. I could. Wait in the shop and a hungry pet will appear. What do pets eat? Pet food! <laughs> I'm gonna scream. There was some pet food in the cupboard. Yeah, there sure was. Okay, do I need to, okay. Do I need to reset this again and not not feed at all and just like open this up? Maybe? Yeah, I love when a hint is exactly what I've been trying to do this whole time. Okay, hold on. We're going to bed. And then the entity's gonna be mad. It's gonna be like, why won't you help me? <laughs> why won't you help? Why do you hate me? <laughs> why am I here? How weird. Nothing's weird. Everything's totally fine. Here's your money. Oh, okay. Thanks so much. I guess nothing was weird. Anyway, bye. Okay, bye. And then it resets the game. All right. <laughs> Did you write this dialogue? I wish. <laughs> You're back. I'll be waiting. I know that hasn't been her voice up until now, but it is now. Why am I here? I think I'm here for a job. My memory is a bit foggy. What was I supposed to do? Turn off the lights? No. That's what I'm not supposed to do. I need to water the plants and feed the pets. And I am going to turn off the lights. 
Nice. Huh? And then... It's so quiet, I can't hear anything but my own breathing. I feel like this room looks different. A door just opened, but how? Is that telephone floating? This telephone is floating. Can it even make calls? Okay. No response. I guess it makes sense. Hello? Huh? Who's there? Oh, it's you! Thank you! Huh? But we have no time to waste. <laughs> I can't keep this up forever. This reminds me of... What did we name the main character in Omori? <laughs> I can't remember. Fart. <laughs> we <didn't... laughs> so any of you who have played Omori, you know how serious that game gets. And we named the main character Fart, and I got to a point where I had to just pretend that they hadn't written it. <laughs> I would be reading, and I would just skip the name <laughs> because otherwise it would be like. It just ruined the scene. Anyways, I can't keep this up forever. I have no idea what you're talking about, and I think you probably have the wrong person. I'm just here on a part-time job. I don't have time to explain. I need you to find the next ring. What ring? And what do you mean next? There's one pet who's very hungry. You'll find out if you wait. Wait? Wait for what? Let it indulge. Huh? Who are you? I'm counting on you. What on earth was that? What was all that about? Next ring, indulge the pet. Why did whoever was on the phone talk like they knew me? I have a bad feeling about all this. Maybe I should just do what the owner told me to do and forget about the call. No. <laughs> I'm gonna feed the pets like normal. That phone call was probably just a prank anyway. It didn't even make sense. You'll find it if you wait. What is it? Why will I find it if I wait? This cupboard is filled with bottles of pet food, but why is the pet food purple? There's pet food inside. There sure is. Okay. Okay. We wait again. We wait again. We wait again. We wait again. We wait again, we wait again, we wait again. Wait, it says. Ooh. We wait again. We wait again, we wait again, we wait again. Ooh, we wait again. We wait again. We wait again, we wait again, we wait again. Ooh, again. We wait again. We wait again, we wait again, we wait again. Ooh, we wait again. 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 Ooh! <laughs> yeah, just a bop, you know. Keep waiting! I will. I swear to God, if this doesn't work, we're going on hint three, and if hint three is like, open the cupboard, <laughs> I'm gonna scream. We're almost there. I feel it on the wind. We're nearly there, guys. I've almost finished my book. Oh my gosh. I'm very excited. I've almost finished it. The library at Mount Char. I'm on page 450 of 470. So it's like, we're like, we're basically there, you know? As with all books, I slowed down a lot once I got near the end. <laughs> Thank you. 
but that book is fucking weird. What a weird book that I couldn't stop reading. <laughs> Not the bins! Wait! <laughs> Where is it? Hey. Is it bin day? <laughs> is it bin day where you are, chat? Put out your wheelie bins. But which color? Oh, okay. I think I just heard something. Did a pet get out of its cage? There's pet food inside. There sure is. Something ate the food. Can't see a keyhole. Is it locked from the inside? I didn't want to put food in this. I just wanted to click on the on this part. Right. Hint one was this. There was some pet food in the cupboard. Move the pet food to where the pet is. In the, f in the folder? Wait a minute. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. For real? Okay, so remember how I was like, yeah, there's a thing in here called pet food, but it's a f it's not a text file like everything else was. It's something that I can't like interact with. I had to t I wonder what would have happened if I had deleted all of the pet Remember when I deleted all the pets? What if I deleted all the pets and then put the pet food in there? Would it still be like, yeah, it's fine. <laughs> Wait, where did Can I do it again? Oh, I can do it again. Oh my god. Did the cupboard just... For some reason, I'm feeling more alone than before. It's eating all of the other pets. All of the pets are disappearing from the folder. <laughs> no, dude, what the hell? Is the air getting kind of thin in here? I didn't ask for this, dude. I guess, sure, eat the last pet. It's kind of hard to breathe. Uh, is it gonna eat me? Huh? For a moment there, I was feeling kind of... I guess it doesn't matter. I feel fine now. But there's something glowing in one of the cages. Oh, it's a ring! Well, how on earth did that get there? I guess it's the ring I was supposed to be looking for. Lucky me, I guess. Why on earth is it glowing, though? Hmm. 
we were the food. We're the toxins! We're what got removed! Oh my god, the, the, the little picture file for the... Sorry. <laughs> I'm so distracted. Okay. <laughs> the next... Uh, sorry. <clears throat> the next ring! Do you have it? Um, I'm not sure if it's the next one or not, but I found a ring in a cage. Weird, right? Show it to me! Uh, how am I supposed to- There are two symbols! One within, and one without! Sorry, could you talk normally? <laughs> oh, wait, I see. There's a little inscription on the outside of the ring. Is that what you wanted to see? Yes! And now the one within! Okay. Wait, can you even see it? I mean, we're talking through a telephone. Thank you! Only one more left! Is this actually a video phone or something? I can't do this for much longer, but I need to. Just once more! Um, are you... Pardon? Oh, lol. Thank you, but it's not over yet. I'm counting on you. Okay. Why am I here? <laughs> I think I'm here for a job. My memory's a bit foggy. What was I supposed to do again? Turn off the lights? No, wait. That's what I'm not supposed to do. I need to water the plants and then feed the pets. Oh, I see. Oh, I see the problem. Uh... Uh-oh. Catch up after dark. Here we go. Okay. I was still on a folder that it had deleted, and so it was really mad at me. It's really dark. Wait, the lights are off. That was the one thing I was not supposed to do. Okay. Okay, we go in. In we go, dude. 502. Hello? Thank you again. W what are you talking about? Uh, hello? Sorry, I can't. I'm growing weaker. Uh, okay, I don't really understand. Underneath the window lies the door. Bring the last ring to me. The rest is up to you. What on earth was that? Uh, okay. Okay, that was weird. Who was on the phone just now? What on earth were they talking about? Last ring? A door under a window? None of that makes any sense. But whoever was on the phone really didn't sound well. Maybe I should just ignore all of that. This is the only room with a window. I don't see any doors underneath it, though. Why am I worrying about what was probably a prank call anyway? Strange, it doesn't seem like light is coming in from the window, but it's still barely bright enough to see. The lights are out though, so why isn't it pitch black in here? Um, okay, well, I mean, I think this window is like, not really there, right? In, in the other ones are, uh, she's like, is this window even real? If I delete it. It just remakes it, okay. Even if the lights are off, I can still feed the pets, but why does it feel like I'm being watched? I never wanna be in here again. Cupboard is locked from the inside. Some water, 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 water. 
There should be all the plants. There's that. There's one packet that doesn't have a label and we still can't read it. That's just fine. Or is it? Wait a sec. Can I put the seed somewhere? Wait a sec. Go back. Go back. seed in all of the folders <laughs> just to see something between the pages Let's try going to bed. Let's try doing this when the lights are on and see. Why did you change your mind? You can't leave now. I don't want to be alone. <laughs> I keep forgetting that we made her obnoxious. You were talking about lights. Was there a problem? Anyway, here's your money. Goodbye. Okay, bye. Okay. Let us see. Thank you. But it's not over yet. I'm counting on you. Why am I here? I think I'm here for a job and stuff. It's so dark out. I can't see anything at all. Is this really a window? That's the observation I was wanting. It's the same symbol over and over again. These books don't have anything written on the spine. You can see traces of something. Yeah, I was saying earlier, it's not, um, it, it's, the game is good at like, making you feel kind of tense, but so far I don't think anything's been like, actually like scary. There haven't been any jump scares, like nothing like that. Small glass vase. Just a touch and it would fall to the ground. It's not making folders this time. That's weird. Thank you very much for subscribing. Welcome to the cat gang. I don't know why, but I have a feeling I shouldn't touch these. This is kind of a creepy game. 
Yeah, it's just sort of creepy. That's the most of it, really. Okay. We get rid of the light. The game begins anew. It's really dark. The lights are off. It's one thing I wasn't supposed to do. I screwed up. What's that f thing called when you feel like you've experienced something before? It doesn't seem like light is coming from this window, but it's still barely bright enough to see. The lights are out, so why? something in the window? Okay, not that. I take the book and put it through the window. No, that didn't do anything. What if I take this photo and put it through the window? That also did nothing, okay. Worth a shot. anything but my own breathing. I feel like this room looks a bit different. I guess, yeah, until I, like, interact with this telephone is floating. Can I make calls like this? 502. Underneath the window and the door, bring the last ring to me. The rest is up to you. Oops. Okay. Hey, Brett, what's up, bud? Dun, dun, dun. Who was on the phone just now, and what on earth were they talking about? Last ring? The door under a window? None of that makes any sense. But whoever was on the phone really didn't sound that well. Maybe I should just ignore all of this. Maybe you should. Is sharing an idea also backseating? Yeah, don't try to help in any way. I will make it super clear if I want help. So, an example would be... Uh... Chat... You can answer this. Should I... Is the thing I need to do back in the hallway, right? Or like, chat... What ideas do you guys have for how to feed this animal? Like, that sort of a thing. But the game has built-in hints, so... Why does it feel like I'm being watched? Because you are, baby girl. The cupboard is locked. I can't see a keyhole. Is it locked from the inside? It's dark here too. The lights are connected through a central system. Everything's watered. Everything's watered, everything's fed. Shelf is filled with seed packets. There's one packet that doesn't have a label. Taking that seed, putting it in the window.
This is the only room with a window. I don't see any doors underneath it though. Why am I worrying about what was probably a prank call anyway? Can't actually see anything outside. Okay, try putting the seed through there. List. Back room. Okay. Seed didn't do anything. Thanksgiving, yeah. Let's see what the first hint says. The door in the bedroom cannot be seen unless you focus on it. Unless you focus on it? Can't actually see anything. Okay. I stay here for a second because like to click on it is to focus on it right I'm turning the lights on <laughs> can't actually see anything okay well Yes. Yeah, the game itself opens up a folder for you. bedroom cannot be seen unless you focus on it. The door is directly under the window. Yeah. Just because I put all these weird things in this folder, should I take those out? Does it always wiggle? 
Oh, it always wiggles if it's on top of something you can click. Okay. We did solve the indulge thing. Yeah. Uh, one of the pets um, ate all of the other pets and us. It was very wholesome. <laughs> From the window to the wall. Point to the middle of the window and move down. Right. Oh my God. <laughs> This fucking game. <laughs> Where am I? I was in the bedroom just now. What is this place? It just looks like a really long hallway. <laughs> I know. I wonder where this goes. Hopefully out of here. Hmm, this looks like some kind of chest. There doesn't seem to be any way to open it though. Guess I can just ignore it. Okay. Two symbols up there. Basement. Extract all. Oh shit, okay. So there is a zipped file in there called chest. Can I open it now? The chest is open for some reason and it seems to be filled with cards. They don't seem to have anything written on them, though. At least nothing I can see. Okay. So it might be... Okay. So I think the cards are telling me what to do in here. So I think it's... Oh, gosh. Reset... Oh my god. Okay, so first this way, I think. And then this way. And then... This way. I'll show you these cards in a second. And then this way. This way. This way. This way. No! Oh, and then this way? Okay, we're back here again. The closed chest is now open, right? So it's a bunch of pictures. They're things like this, right? So I was like, okay, so you would want to put them together, right? Like a puzzle. Um, so I was kind of like mentally doing that. No, come on, man. Okay. 
There we go. And then this one. And then there's this. Which I assume is trying to like help you figure out what these correspond to, I guess. So it might be that you go around the outside and then inside. Or the opposite. I'm just pulling them onto OBS so you can see them because I was looking at them on my own and I was like, you're missing like a, a huge part of what's going on in the game right now. So um, yeah, so that's what was in, these are the cards that were in the chest that she found, right? But they popped up on, in, in the folder for me. So what is this? I assume it's, it's meant to help me. If it's like you do circle, then triangle, then diamond, then octagon, hectagon. Uh, What do they mean? Exactly, that's what I'm saying. Okay, we're gonna throw all of these into a folder in OBS. Oops. Okay, I'm gonna make a folder. Bullshit is what I'm gonna call it. <laughs> and that way. We can uh, turn these off and on as we want. Great. So, uh, so if it if it is meant to go in that order, the problem is I can't tell if you're meant to go right or left first. You know. So, uh, okay, let's try going. Left and then right. Right. Left, what are these? What's this that keeps popping up? Oh, I think it always has been. I don't think I can change. Maybe I can. No, now the side is visible. <laughs> okay. No, it's all good. Uh, okay. So the, I think it's trying to say XXX. Okay. So it keeps it keeps showing the hexagon shape. So I'm not sure what that means. Okay, 
get me back. Take me back, dude. Okay, we're back here. Oh, Lord. I need to pee. I need to pee. Let's all take a quick pee break while this unsettling music plays. <laughs> uh, go grab a drink, go stretch, go take a pill. I'll be back in just a sec.
I'm just gonna grab a snack. Give me one more sec. Okay, hi, hello. <laughs> Salt on a banana? What the fuck are we talking about in here? What kind of cursed ass shit? <laughs> Guys, you okay? <laughs> Salt does bring out sweetness, they say. Okay. Let's crack this. I'm gonna try just following it around in a circle. There's no way it's literally just back and forth. <laughs> the closed chest is now opened. Okay. I've never done salt on watermelon. I've heard it's good though. Also, um, what's that like chili powder stuff? It starts with a T? Oh shit. Tahine. Tahine on watermelon is apparently very good. like you start at the white circle you go around the black circle and then you about face right and then you go back around the opposite direction but on the outside
Maybe that middle one, it, it has like an extra border around it. Are we supposed to do it twice? Ugh. I'll try it. are still confusing the shit out of me. Oh my gosh, all of the file names are different numbers of dots. Oh my god. I don't, oh Jesus, okay. <laughs> uh, okay. Okay. Um. So the file names correspond to their shapes. So like one of the circles, here I'll bring it back up. One of the circles has a file name that is number bracket period. The other circle is called number period bracket. So it's the same for all of the other ones. So triangle is number bracket four periods the other one is number four periods bracket, right? So like if you put them next to each other, there would be brackets like this. So is the reason that that, um, that that symbol is up, is it because it, it wants me to like complete the hexagon first but like I don't see the hexagon is there and then there's a Cards inside the chest form a shape. The two symbols on each card show you how to proceed. Uh-huh. <laughs> Cards form a circle. On each card is a direction and a sound. Thank you. 
a direction and a sound? here okay a direction and a sound okay sure Organize them in the file? But I don't think so. I don't think I have to take anything from any of the other rooms. I also put butter in my ramen. Butter and raw minced garlic. <laughs> I love it. singles are good in ramen yeah those don't really exist in England so I can't do that hack can't do the cheesy ramen hack them at Sainsbury's. They're not craft brand, but they're okay. American cheese singles? They have at Sainsbury's? Cheese singles, sure, but like processed American cheese they have? Really? That shocks me. <laughs> die in here dude look at the options for something familiar oh jeez <laughs> okay 
Okay, interesting. Okay. So <clears throat> Oh, yeah, sorry. I didn't realize that that was still up here. So, um the thing that we see on that side picture there is is the volume levels Your journey begins at the top and goes clockwise. Okay, so... Thank you, I made it! So, jeez. Someone said this was a demo puzzle. I do not remember it at all. Doesn't say if it's I'm so confused. There's like I don't think we made it here during the demo. I think we did the whole demo, didn't we? So, it shows on the on the little on the little diagram, it shows other symbols on here, right? So, we have the circle, we have the hexagon. So I'm trying to figure out, oh, okay. It becomes the other symbols. Okay. So we'll turn that back up. Okay, so. Uh, okay, so diamond circle triangle. Hexagon. Circle. 
circle, diamond, hexagon, triangle. Oh, now it's says, now it's got a triangle on it. So do we, okay, so maybe we set this to a symbol and then go a direction. So, Okay, and then circle. It's white now. Triangle. It was black before, which felt like confirmation, like, yeah, you're doing it, and now I'm not sure. Okay. I feel like I'm overcomplicating this. Turning the music off, it's stressing me out. <laughs> I just joined, what are we trying to do? We're trying to solve a puzzle currently. God, my shoulders have been so bad. Okay. Um, so I've tried going around this circle. The first the first thing that you do on this, if you set it to this and then go to the left, it's black, which to me is like 
confirmation, right? Because everything else that we've done, they've always stayed white. So black is like, yep. But if I then do go to the right on triangle or to the right on circle, which seem like the two potential things that come next, right? They're white. So what am I doing wrong? <laughs> I've, I've tried going all the way around. Check the hint again. Look at the options for something familiar. Your journey begins at the top and goes clockwise. Clockwise. That's why. So. Circle. Okay, 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 okay. And then right, please. Yes, okay. Okay, 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 okay. Right. left left are you sure she can handle the game herself there's no need to be a bitch about it you don't gotta be rude come on man okay right a door oh no no wait <laughs> no! okay fine i guess we're going in the door Ooh, this room is different from all the others so far something seems to be flowing down the walls hold on hold on i'm trying to turn the music up Wait, I turned the music off during that last one. Wait, and the floor is kind of wet. Oh, God. Is there a leak somewhere? What is that awful smell? What is this? It's really sticky. I love the cosmic horror of this character just sitting there and <laughs> not like actively doing anything. Yeah, rewind it. room is empty again everything looks normal did i just imagine all of that oh hmm there's something shining on the floor it looks like a ring maybe this is the ring whoever was on the phone was talking about but i'm not sure how it's supposed to be the last one or whatever how is it shining though there's no light to reflect off of it yeah that's very strange oh suddenly i'm i'm out and i'm fine Mm-hmm. Okay, well, let's see if this entity is actually nice or not. <laughs> Hello? The last ring! Did you bring it to me? I think so. Or, well, a, a ring, at least. I'm not sure if it's the last. Hold it up to the light! Okay, okay, calm down. Like this? And the symbol within! Uh, like the inside of the ring, you mean? Yes, the rings are together! So what? At last, I can be free! Free from what? I need just one last thing from you. Use the rings to find the key! Uh, the key to what? 
There's a locked cupboard in the shop. Bring whatever is inside that cupboard to me. To you? But where are... To this room, please. Only you can do it. Well, I guess I could look for it while I'm on the job. I just have to go bring whatever's in the cupboard here, right? Yes. Yes, I'll be waiting. Uh, okay. <laughs> okay, this whole doing stuff because a stranger on the phone is telling me to thing is weird. And I don't understand any of it either. I'm supposed to use rings to find a key and then unlock a cupboard? What's the point of all this? Well, I guess I can keep an eye out for a key and a cupboard while I'm tending to the plants and the pets. Wait, was that table always there? The vase is filled with water, with a bunch of rocks at the bottom. It looks like the rocks have been painted or something. Is this a goldfish bowl? Oh. Interesting. The rocks feel really smooth. I don't remember the order that the symbols, that we saw the symbols in. I think the cupboard is locked from inside. How on earth am I supposed to open it? I don't know, dude. One doesn't have a label. Why, why do we still not care about that? Drive me crazy. She drive me crazy. I just can't sleep. Okay, never mind. There's a file in here that has like all the circles. I think it's just tracking whether or not you've found the circles or not. The symbols make me want Oreos. Nice. can't go in the basement anymore. That's fine. Ouch. Find the key. Open the cupboard. I'll be waiting. Okay. Use the rings to find the key. Right, there's a file here with three circles, which I assume means three rings. Because when we had one ring, it was one circle, and two rings, it was two circle, now there's three. When I open it up. Hold on. Does that help at all? So, when I open it up, it has six small squares that go white, black, white, black, white, black, and then six circles, two white circles, one half black, half white, another white circle, a black circle, and another half black, half white circle. What does it mean? Is 
So that's why I was like, okay, well maybe white circle means white outline. Like these two have a white outline, but there are three apparently, three white circles that are not half and half. These two are obviously half and half, right? Okay, that one's black. White, white, black. Oops. White, white. There's two black circles though, and there aren't two black circles in the notepad. Uh. <laughs> hey. How are you doing? How are you guys doing? You doing good? Oh, look at me. Wait a minute. I'm the puzzle. <laughs> I'm the puzzle now. I solved it. <laughs> oh, goodness. <laughs> hey, I'm sorry to the person that I lashed out at when we were in the basement. Sometimes I react badly when the implication is I'm too stupid to figure out a puzzle. Which I think is understandable, but I shouldn't have lashed out the way I did, so I'm sorry. Puzzle games. They can be frustrating sometimes, you know. But I need to I need to deal with that in here. <laughs> Don't you mostly do puzzle games? Yeah. I love them. <laughs> I love puzzle games. I adore them. But, you know, sometimes you hit walls. And then if you see something that in chat where the implication is, maybe you're just too stupid to figure it out. Ooh, buddy. That is such a quick way for me to spiral. <laughs> so... No, it's fine. Because, like people in chat are saying, you know, 
probably most of the time that sort of thing is said as either as a joke or like to be ironic you know but in text it's hard to tell that sometimes yeah i'm just too dooger that's the problem <laughs> but I just no, I I I just felt like I should I should say sorry for that because I did I got I got heated. <laughs> oh, there we go. <laughs> Here I am. <laughs> Still part of the puzzle. <laughs> now five more. I can't. Here's a cool thing about webcams. Um, they get mad if you try to like use them for more than one thing. So even though it would just be a duplicate of the same shit, it would still be like, hey, what are you doing in there? What's going on over there? You get mad, which is unfortunate. <laughs> part of the puzzle, but when are you going to be part of the answer? <laughs> shit. That's real, dude. Anyways. <laughs> Back to this shit. So yeah, uh, okay. We've got a notepad that says white, black, white, black, white, black, and then a bunch of circles. Wow. <sighs> Can't see anything outside. Fed all the animals. I think the cupboard is locked from the inside. How on earth am I gonna open it? It's a great question. All the flowers are watered. The shelf is filled with seed packets, but one doesn't have a label. Why? Why doesn't it have a label? Maybe I put the seed I'm so desperate to figure out where the seed is supposed to go. Maybe I put the seed in the vase, dude. Huh? Huh? There's a seed sitting right there, but it's ignoring it. <laughs> White, white, white. Okay. White, white, boop. White, white, boop. White, black, boop. But that's what's on the thing, dude. Huh? 
All right. The secret lies within the rings. One, two. One, two, three. One, two, one, two, three. <laughs> the Lord of the River. But then how come both of these pop up on the side as being white? White on the outside, white in the middle, white in the center. But these aren't both white, this is black. White on the outside, white on the outside, white on the outside. But on the pattern on the, on the dock, it's white, white, half, white, black, half. So which one of these isn't getting tapped? See the dock. Um, sure. <laughs> yeah, sure. <laughs> um, one sec. Just because sometimes these things act weird when you try to like grab a window. I don't want it to grab the wrong window. Um, window capture. Yeah, gooby guck. Yep, I'll remember what that means. All right, there we go. I don't know if you're ready for this, dudes. I don't know if you're ready. Uh, <laughs> that's it. <laughs> that's it right there. <laughs> so when you okay hold on let me move this when i click these look look in the top left when i click these it it does like white circle white circle half circle right like in that in the pattern below but two of these make black circles but there's only one black circle in the pattern Oh, Disco Elysium, so fun. Yeah, fun with the dot dots. Did you not think it was fun? I'm addicted to hints now. <laughs> Normally I'm not a hint boy, but. Three rings and six symbols to be read. Ha <laughs> ha. 
The symbols and the color of the rocks is the final hint. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> oh my god, my back. Shit. I feel like I'm missing something. Two of these are white, two of them are black, and two of them are half. They pop up in the top corner as such. But the full pattern has three white, one black, and two half. Why is that? free rain <laughs> it's free rain i don't have the i don't have the strength right now <laughs> what am i missing here you can help chat you have two sets of symbols yes i know Squares are colors and circles are symbols. Okay. Okay, so you're saying white on the outside, white on the inside would be first. Black on the outside, white on the inside would be second. But then it would be this one again. Because this would be black on the outside, white on the inside. do chat <laughs> white on the outside white on the inside black on the outside white on the inside white on the outside black on the outside white on the inside White on the outside, black on the inside, black on the outside, half. No, that's not it.
you reverse the order? I mean, I, I can try. So that time I did the two, so like, white middle circle, white middle, right? So ignoring the outside circle, but. Second and fourth of the same clue, so it must be reused, but I've reused, I've done it twice now. <laughs> I did it. I did the I did the pattern as seen with outside and outside circle and the middle. I did it the third time that I tried. I did middle circle and the center. There's two that show white circle when you hover over. Yes, I know. But if we're saying that the squares denote the other important color. <laughs> Monkey Man Dark Hand was here. <laughs> oh shit, what a deep cut. <laughs> hey, go play Case of the Golden Idol. It's very good. If only Monkey Man Dark Hand was here, dude. <laughs> what a throwback. <laughs> Not Monkey Man Dark Hand, dude. Shit. I haven't tried Pentiment, but somebody recommended it. But apparently it's very good. No, guys, my next game is gonna be- Oh, fuck, what was it called again? <laughs> my next game is gonna be milk inside a bag of milk inside a bag of milk. <laughs> and then, the long-awaited sequel, milk, out milk outside a bag of milk outside a bag of milk. <laughs> Oops, okay. been here enough lately to know if that was a serious or a joke. They are real games that I do intend on playing. Um, probably not on stream, but they have overwhelmingly positive reviews, despite their fucking weird names. Uh, so yeah, I do plan to at least play the first one, because it's 99 cents. So. I'm out of water. Rip. Guess I'll die. Yeah, I've done the same stone twice. Multiple times. When we tried to follow that pattern how everybody told me to, I did the same stone twice. And it didn't work. <laughs> So again, white outline, white middle circle, click. Black outline, white middle circle, click. White outline, black middle circle, click. Again, 
black outline, white middle circle, click. White outline, black middle circle, click. Black outline, half circle, click. The rocks are so smooth, dude. <laughs> the second one was wrong. Why? Why would it be this one? Why was it that one? Because the circle is hollow? What? There's black in the middle. Whatever, fuck it, I don't care. <laughs> Something appeared in the water. It's a key, I'm so excited. Take the key. Why can't I get the key out? Is there any way I can move this key? <sighs> no, I don't care anymore. Stop talking about it. I'm mad now. <laughs> okay. The key's too smooth. The key is too smooth, dude. Okay, we take the key. We take the key, and guess what, guys? We put it in the cupboard. Bam. Go back to the cupboard. Try to open it. Wait, it's unlocked, but how? I guess I might as well take a look inside. It's too dark to see anything, though, so I'll just feel around. <gasps> I touched something soft. It's cold. Is this a hand? Attached to an arm? Attached to a body? Somebody's in this cupboard! How did they even get in there? This cupboard door is too small, you can't cro- Wait, are they alive? The body is cold. Oh god, oh god, oh god, what have I gotten into? Calm down, I I'm just panicking. It's obviously not a real body. It can't be, that would be- This has gotta be a prank. I should probably just do my job and forget about all this. I don't think I could even get this out of the cupboard. It's too big. I got an achievement called the body. There's a body inside. Who wants a body massage? It's a body massage machine. Hi, excuse me, I found a body? Pardon, I found a body? Hello? Use the rings to find the key, open the cupboard, and bring whatever's inside to me. <laughs> I like that we just hang up. Masked? Why does it say masked? I closed a folder, and now it's just grabbed something that says masked? Wait, what file did it grab? Oh! <laughs> I grabbed my Yuli notes. That's really funny. Uh, okay. So I guess we copy the body and then take it to the back room. Sure, okay. Oops. 502. Okay. Hello? You found it! Uh, found what? Thank you! Now I can finally come back! Nice. She's got a little heart on her dress, dude. She's gotta be nice. Whoa! Where did you come from? The body in the cupboard. It was mine. But it's missing something. Where's the rest of my body? Um, I don't know what- My heart! Where is my heart, dude? I don't- Please! Give my heart back to me! Huh? What are you- Uh... What the fuck? She took my heart. Why am I still stuck like this? This isn't what was supposed to- 
What did you do to me? I can't move. Oh, no. What have I done? Ah, oh, oh, goofus. <laughs> I gotta fix this. Ah. Uh. What did you do to my heart? I think the better question is, what did you do with her heart? I, I mean, I didn't mean to. But you did. And now that poor girl is... She's, she's fine. I just... She just... She's just a regular human. Unlike you. Humans don't do very well without hearts. But I, I never meant to... But you did. And what will you do now? Even with that stolen heart, you won't be able to escape. As long as I have your heart, you're stuck here. You... You... What? Are you going to kill me? Like you did her? I don't mind, but it is my magic keeping your heart beating inside of your body. And if I die, your heart does too. You! So, what will it be? Are you done with your little tantrum? I don't have all day, you know. I'll need to dispose of the poor girl you killed. Did you want to say good- <laughs> The game's restarting. You promise you'll stop me? You'll stop me from hurting anyone? I promise? You made the right decision. Someone with your power, you're a danger to everyone. I never... I never asked for this. I didn't want this power. But you have it. And it seems like you can't stop yourself from using it. I... So don't worry. As long as you're in here, everyone will be safe. Okay. But just to make sure... I need one thing from you. Huh? So that you can't change your mind. What are you... Don't! Ah! Ah, <sighs> she finally stopped screaming. Starting to be a bother. Now, where should I put this lovely thing? I've stored the body already, but this... It deserves a special home. I know. I'll put it in the garden. It's just about time for lunch, anyway. My little goldfish is probably feeling peckish. I'll have to give it a little illumination to lure it out. Please just go. Don't come back. Stay away from me. But the seeds! Huh? Why am I here? I think I'm here for a job! <laughs> My memory's a bit foggy for some reason. What was I supposed to do again? Turn off the lights? No. That's what I'm not supposed to do. I need to water the plants and feed the pets. Hmm, just as empty today as it was yesterday. Wait, yesterday? What was I doing here yesterday? A small glass vase. It looks so fragile. Just a touch and it would fall to the ground. Hi, Watson. <laughs> Who even is the villain? I should feed the pets. For some reason, I know I need to feed them. That should be all of them. I hope they enjoyed the food. I should water all the plants. It won't take too long. Yummy, yummy, yummy. I think their seeds. A lot of them are in languages I can't read. I wonder what this one. I don't know why, but I have a feeling I shouldn't touch it. Hmm. Are you ps ps psing my cat? <laughs> Oops. Wrong way. Yeah, this game is deja vu. It's just a big deja vu game. <laughs>
Excuse me. delete that again. Huh? The lights are off. That was the one thing I wasn't supposed to do. How could I screw up such an easy job? I gotta find a light switch and fix the situation. I know what it's called when you feel like you've experienced something before. Deja vu. But why did I think about that just now? I feel like this room looks a bit different. Even if the lights are off, I can still feed the pets, but why does it feel like I'm being watched? Pet food is purple for some reason. This cupboard is locked. The lights are connected through central such and such. Shelf is filled with seed packets. I wonder what kind of seed it is. Me too, dude. I also wonder this. <gasps> what was that? A door. But how wow 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 wow. I wonder why the telephone is here. She told us not to come back. <laughs> why? Why are you here? Huh? Go away. Who are... Go away. Oh, what was that? A prank call? How weird. That was a bit weird. I guess I shouldn't worry about it, though. I just want you to know I hate this puzzle now. <laughs> I just want you to know that every time the game makes me do this puzzle, I'm going to be furious. <laughs> Something appeared out of the water! <laughs> My cat just jump scared me. Uh, okay. Hi, would you like to snuggie up? Yeah, I know I agree. But you can't sit there is the thing. So if you want to come here, that's fine. What do you think? I'm pretty warm. I'm pretty warm. What do you think? Come on. Good ball. Come here. Okay. All the books are blank. There's a photo. Wait, no, it's a blank piece of paper with nothing printed on it. There's a fish in the bowl now. Like when you go into the vase, there's the key, but there's also a file that's just a picture of a fish. What if, what if I, f <laughs> what if I feed the fish to that monster?
hand attached to an arm attached to a body. Are they alive? The body is cold. Um. What if, hey, I'm this is, this is gonna sound so morbid. What if I take the body show the pets anymore I was gonna be like what if uh, I feed the body to the pet but it won't let me That's right, the goldfish needs some illumination. So what if I take the fish, copy it, and then go to sleep? She says, don't come back, that's fine. They have a whole convo. through the door, go back out the door, do a little dance. Okay, we have to talk to her first. Hi, Subbo. Why are you here? Go away. It's a bit weird. It's, there's a goldfish in the bowl. Okay. 
tall vase. There's a little fishy in there. No! Okay, so what I tried doing was copying the light file. And I, I tried to put it inside of the vase, but it was like, this file doesn't exist anymore. <laughs> Boo, that sucks. Okay, so... It did the same thing when I tried, I tried to take the fish and put it in the bowl when it was light and it wouldn't let me because the fish didn't exist anymore. So where do I need to put this fish then? the cupboard with pet food in it so I can try taking that out and putting it in here but I don't think that'll do anything because we're trying to lure the fish out aren't we turned into a text file <laughs> that just has a dash on it. <gasps> I know what to do. I know what to do. One of the one of the pets is an anglerfish. Put that in there. Now what? Come on! Are you kidding? It's a fish with a with a light hanging off of it. pet food now. Hall, vase, pet food. Oh my god, okay. Little goldfish needs a little illumination. Right. So I've put I put the fit the angler fish into the goldfish bowl with it. How is that not Not the light? <laughs> it knew what we were gonna try to do. 
you have something else that shines and glows besides the fish? Does it want me to put the, the rings in there? Something glowing bright in the water. It looks like the rings. That's silly! There's a fucking fish with the light on the end of it! Why didn't that work? Why bother putting a fish in there that, that has a light? biologically built into it, into the game, if I can't use it in a situation where it's like, if only we could give this goldfish some illumination. <laughs> like, come on, man! Okay, I know we've hit the point where I'm complaining about absolutely everything in this game. I acknowledge that, and I'm just gonna like, lean into it even harder, okay? So, just I just need you all to buckle up. I'm gonna be toxic here, okay? There's something moving in the vase. A fish! Where were you hiding, little fish? Look at it go, it's swimming around the rings. The light must have caught its attention. The rings seem to be glowing brighter than... Whoa, what was that? A door? It's kind of glowing. Hmm, this looks like somebody's office. A pretty barren one though. Kind of weird to have an office in a pet shop. This desk is covered with papers. It seems to be a lot of drawings of... Actually, I think I'd rather not look too closely at these. Why not? Okay. Oh my god, I don't know if I have the strength for more of this shit. Everything's dark in here, except the weird glowing bits. What is this room? This looks like a little pot. There's soil in it too. Maybe it's for gardening. Why isn't it in the front with the other plants? Here we go, here we go, here we go. This isn't a drill, guys, it's real. We're doing it. Apparently I didn't click on the bookshelf this run because the bookshelf isn't populated with anything. <laughs> it's fine, be right back. <sighs> the long, slow walk back. So there's a, um, for those of you who are just now showing up or who missed the times when I've talked about this, there's a bookshelf in this game that has a, a packet of seeds on it. And every time we see it, we're like, we should not touch that. And I'm like, why not? And I keep trying to put the seed in weird places and it won't let me. Okay, here we go. The shelf is filled with seed packets. There's one packet that doesn't have a label. I wonder what kind of seed it is. Okay, now let's get out, get the fuck out of here. Yeah, this is a game where there's the game that you can see and there's also a bunch of folders that the game opens up for you on your computer. Um, so it's got that like meta aspect to it where like there's, there's a bunch of stuff that you can interact with um, that's in folders. So it makes it a little hard to stream, but I think we've had fun. Okay. We go to the front. We go to the shelf. We take the seed. We go to the hall. We go to the office. Is this the pot? We put the seed in. It looks like there's a little seed inside the soil. Is it vibrating? Whoa, a vine suddenly shot up from the pot. Did the seed just grow up all of a sudden? It shot right through the ceiling. Oh my God, it is a heart. I don't know why I climbed up here. It's so bright, but why? It was dark outside the window. 
Where's that light coming from? It's so bright I can't even see anything. I feel kind of dizzy. I should climb back down. Hmm. I take the heart. <laughs> the heart in the cupboard. Let's go. Let's go. Oh my god, it's pouring rain again. Poor chickies. Yeah, there's a heart in that folder now. So I took the heart. cupboard isn't locked. I guess I might as well take a look inside. It's too dark to see anything, though, so I'll just feel around. I touch something soft and cold. A hand attached to an arm attached to a body. Somebody's in the cupboard. Are they alive? The body's cold. Oh, God! What have I gotten into? It's obviously not a real body. It can't be. That would be... It's gotta be a prank. I should probably just do my job and forget about all this. It's none of my business. Da, da. And now we take the body and the heart and we put them in the back room. Hello? No, I told you to stay away! Huh? I don't know what I'll... She has a beating heart. What? Where did you come from? My body! My heart! I'm whole again! I can hear it! My heartbeat! Um, I have no idea what you're talking about, but I don't think you should be back here. The owner's away right now, and I'm like kind of watching over the shop. I don't think she'd be super happy if I let you stay here. Of course. The shop owner. Now, don't worry. I'll take care of her. What do you mean? <laughs> Uh, okay. <laughs> A pet shop before dark. Isn't it called after dark? Yeah. <laughs> Wow, it's really dark in here, like some kind of gothic plant shop. Oh, it's her! It's a pet and plant shop, actually! Oh, I'm, I'm here about the job. The job? Oh, sorry, you must be mistaken. We're not hiring currently. What? But I... Uh, I thought I had the job listing with me. It's okay, we all make mistakes sometimes. I must have mixed this place up with some other shop. Sorry for bothering you. Oh no, I should be thanking you, really. Huh? Did you need something else? Oh, um, I don't think so. Hmm, well since you came all the way here, you can have this. What is it? A seed packet. You just plant it in some soil and water it. It grows well in the shade. What kind of plant is it? That's a surprise for later. Uh, well thanks, I guess. I'll be going then. Thank you. You gave me my heart back. I feel sorry for the poor girl who got wrapped up in this mess, but... I needed her, too. I was stuck in liminal space, stuck between two different dimensions. I needed one person in this dimension to pull me back. That was her, silly girl. But I also needed another person in the other dimension to find the things that were hidden. And that was you. I wish I could meet you properly, but unfortunately my powers don't include traveling through dimensions. What happened to the owner, you ask? Oh, I mean, do you really want to know? <laughs> don't worry. I would never harm anybody who's helped me. Since you saved me, if you don't mind, would you tell me your name? Far 
Fart barf. Thank you, fart barf. I don't know how I can ever repay you. If you ever think you might require my assistance, just let me know. Yikes. <laughs> what do you mean? I'm not giving an obvious fey creature my real name, okay? She can have fart barf and she can be happy about it. <laughs> This is Fart Barf stream now. <laughs> that was pretty cute. Like, all things considered. <laughs> yeah. Twitch.tiv slash Fart Barf. That's me. That's me, I did that. Thank you for playing. You're welcome. Oh. I guess that's it. Owari. What happened to the owner, though? Um, well, I assume she became the pet, dude. <laughs> I assume she became the dead body in the cupboard, you know? I mean, as long as we're asking. <laughs> pretty sure that's that's probably what happened. She, <laughs> the angler fit. She was the anglerfish all along. <laughs> sometimes you're the pet shop owner and sometimes you're the dead body in the closet. That's life. <laughs> That's gender, babes. <laughs> Tag yourself sweats. Hello, my love. <laughs> yeah, it's hard. Playing a, uh, trying to play a game like that on stream is hard. Because you're like, how do I... You're not having the same experience as me. You know, most games that you play on stream, everybody's sort of having the same experience. You don't get the same experience as as me when I'm looking at like files and folders and things, you know? So part of me was like, ah, oh, maybe I should just capture my desktop. But um, I wasn't sure if like, you know, I just wanted to be careful. I didn't know if I was, if something was gonna accidentally pop up that like showed a thing I didn't wanna show, you know, so it's hard. Yeah, Dracula today for real. Yeah, let's double check if I need to make any other PNGs. I don't think I do. Let's find out. Blah. Dracula. So for those of you who don't know, we have been doing a dramatic reading of Dracula. It's been going well. Uh, last we left off, we're starting at chapter 13. Okay, we got Dr. Seward. Easy. Uh John is is Seward's first name, right? So, anybody who's like John Van Helsing Arthur Arthur. There's a lot of Arthur in this section. I'm very excited. Mina, Dr. Seward. We should be good, I think. Mina, Van Helsing, Mina. John. 
Jonathan Harker. Dr. Seward. Van Helsing, Dr. Seward, John. So this will be the last chapter. Quincy. Quincy! Van Helsing. Yeah, we should be good. I think I've got everything we need. Yeah. I know. It's wild. Look. We're halfway. We're halfway, dude. It's been going well. Are the previous Dracula VODs on YouTube? I believe so. They should be. But yeah, well... At the start of stream, we'll try to give a rundown on like everything that's gone on in the book so far. I'm definitely gonna miss some things, but we could give the general gist of like where we're at in the story. Oh no. I don't think I saved. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna have to remake the Dracula veto, I think. Uh, I am. Yeah, I am. That sucks. <laughs> that sucks. That's okay. Oh my god, it is pouring rain. And it's dark. Oh my god, it's already dark. It's 3.30. <laughs> Do you remember yesterday when I was like, it's almost 4 and it's still so light out. The days just do whatever they want once it gets to be this time of the year. Ew. Here. Let's swap us over. We're basically coffee timing now. Coffee. Um, just chattoing. I have my Christmas lights on. Um, Clarky's room is the most Christmassy looking part of our entire house. Because she bought tinsel. She bought tinsel with her allowance. It's the first time she hasn't spent her allowance on a headband. <laughs> she wanted tinsel. So she bought tinsel. She bought tinsel and pens. Um, and we wrapped tinsel around her uh, her bed frame. She's got like a little, a little like doop, 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 doop around the front. So we wrapped tinsel around it. And then uh, I brought out one of the like red and white blankies that I had in storage. And so her room looks very festive because, you know, she's also got her little gonk. And she's got um, uh, Nanny Butt, a uh, ceramic elf that she painted. And, you know, she's got a whole thing going on. She was like, when are we getting a tree? We need a tree immediately. <laughs> I was like, it's November. I don't want a tree yet. It's rainy, isn't it, Watson? A bird just flew by really close to the window in the middle of the rain. And Watson's like, holy shit. Birds are pretty badass. Hi. What's up? Bop, 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 bop. I think I'm gonna make some curry tonight maybe I think I'm gonna make some curry 
Mwah. What are you doing? Some places are already seeing a Christmas tree shortage. Where? What? In Hangland? Hi, sweetheart. Can I see your fache? Sorry. If you want me to, that's okay. I'll do it later. It's okay. I'll do it later. Are you celebrating Thanksgiving since you moved to the UK? Um, I've tried to do something for Thanksgiving every year. Um, this year, uh, I'm kind of, <laughs> this sounds depressing. I'm kind of like pretending it doesn't exist. <laughs> um, cause I really thought that I was going to be able to go to America this year for Thanksgiving and it didn't work out again. So it's three years running that I haven't been able to go. It's a bummer. It's a bummer. Can I see? Thank you. Sorry for no, 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 no. You don't need to worry about it. Um. Yeah. So we're what we're trying to do. What our plan is, uh, is we're gonna try to have like a nice celebration meal after my immigration gets approved and all of that is done. Um, because then we can be like, yay, late Thanksgiving-ish, but also um, like the thing that kept us from being able to, to go for Thanksgiving, that's all done and it's good news and it's positive and now we can relax and we can celebrate as a family, that sort of a thing. So I said, let's wait. Should, we should know in a couple weeks, so. Broadcaster has indicated this channel is intended for mature audiences. It is. I sometimes make dick jokes, so. Just covering my bases, dude. What you doing? You okay? Yeah. You alright? Okay. It's okay. I got my money returned for the litter robot and I have rebought it. Very excited. <laughs> I'm holding out hope that it'll actually show up this time. But it there it comes with there's there's an obligation here alongside of it, okay? I look haggard today. Anyways <laughs> if I look at myself for too long. So um the place where I wanna put the uh the litter robot, which is basically like a, a litter spaceship, it's amazing. Um the place where I want to put it currently has a ton of craft shit on it. So, yes, I've bought the litter robot, but it comes with it the obligation of at least moving all of that shit out of that space. Right? Right? So that um, it can go where it's supposed to go. <laughs> Haggard chic. Thank you. My lips are starting to split because of the because of the weather. Do you see this little like red dot here? You might not be able to. That's like a little a little wound. But I uh, I bite my lips a lot. I'm trying not to bite them as often, but I bite them a lot. And so uh, I hope your cats take to it. Apparently, it freaks some cats out. It does, but they have a they have a like warranty in place because of that. You have like a ninety day trial guarantee sort of a thing huh. I really hope you guys use it it would make my life so much better 
If you would use it, please. 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 <laughs> The Watson looks like a toasted marshmallow. That's cute. Are you a marshmallow? You might be. How old is Watson now? Eight? She is nine. She's nine now. And Sherlock is like 12 or 13, something like that. I know. That's what I'm saying. It's been forever. Say I wanna be your, your girlfriend. Can you hear that? I guess there's also the purring cat that might be getting in the way, but the rain is very loud. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, Sherlock and Watson are my first cats, really. Um, I worked for a shelter. I, I socialized kittens for a really long time, but none of them were like my cats, you know. Um, and all of the cats before that were barn cats. So they were, they were basically feral. They wanted nothing to do with me, you know. Uh, so yeah, Sherlock was my first cat ever, really. I literally can't imagine not to take this to a sad place but like um, I was telling Sam I, I cannot imagine like replacing these cats and maybe it's because that's the wrong like word to use you know that it shouldn't be like I could never replace Sherlock, right? I could never replace Watson. It would be just like adding a new family member, not replacing a family member, but like, yeah. I think about that sometimes. Like, I can't imagine, I guess I just can't imagine getting another cat. <laughs> Even if I imagine myself way in the future without Sherlock and Watson, I'm like, I, don't, I can't imagine myself with different cats. You know? <laughs> it's very weird. It's very weird to think about. Huh. They did. They flew across the ocean. They're so brave. Mwah. Yeah, they got wings, dude. You're cute. I was about to say, you're cute. Who made you? Because I used to say that to Clark. <laughs> it makes sense to say it to a baby because then you can either look at yourself or look at the person who made them, right? And be like, you did. With a cat, <laughs> with a cat you can't do that. <laughs> I can't look at Watson and be like, you're so cute. Who made you? She's like, no clue, bitch. No idea. <laughs> I was in a bush, dude. 
Huh, we found you in a bush. That's so wild. It's raining out there. It is, yeah. Yeah. My neck in shreds. Every time I, um, every time I like press on part of my neck or my shoulders, all I feel is like a rock. <laughs> it just feels like there's tiny little rocks all over my shoulders. And I'm like, I should really, I've talked about this a lot, but I should really pay someone to like destroy those. <laughs> The bush made me, as was foretold. <laughs> but yeah, um, any of you who are like expecting children at some point, uh, keep that one in the pocket. It's very fun. You're very cute. Who made you? And then you have a mirror on hand that you whip out and you go, that's right, I did. It's good. It's a fun goof. A goof that lands about 50% of the time uh, is when someone says, oh, your kid is so cute. And then, <laughs> and then you say, yeah, I guess I'll keep them. That doesn't always land. <laughs> that doesn't always work. <clears throat> Some people really hate that one. <laughs> What's going on? What are you looking at me for? You just want to hang? Okay, that's fine. Thanks, I made them myself. Yeah, that's another good one. I like your hair. Thanks, I grew it myself. That, those are classics. She wants to be inside the sweater. Get in. Get, get in. <laughs> she says, nah. She wants the lap. I mean, I keep opening up the lap. In my experience, cats want to be a problem. They do like that. OK. That's fine. Oh, honey, your little leggy. You OK? She says, go away, mom. My leg's fine. <laughs> My parents moved when I was at uni. They joked they weren't going to give me the new address. Some the fuck was that? Somebody, um, that was my computer, by the way. That was not yours. Uh, somebody on TikTok was doing a thing where they were like, hey, what are bits that you use on the regular? Tell me about them. And um, I guess you would call, judging by the way that like people have responded, things like, your kid is very beautiful, thanks, I guess I'll keep them, that sort of shit. I guess you would call those bits. Um, a bit that my mom did for my entire childhood until this place closed down. I think I've talked about this before. There was a Chinese restaurant that uh, was in my hometown which was wild because this town is so small. But we had a Chinese restaurant and occasionally we would be like, yo, let's get some fucking Chinese food. And it was so good. And um, my mom would order the food and she would be like, we want chicken fried rice and sweet and sour chicken 
and chicken chow mein. And then she'd go, we're the chicken people. Every time. <laughs> Every single time. She couldn't help herself. She couldn't help herself, dude. She, <laughs> she would list off those three things in a row and then go, we're the chicken people. Every time. Every time. <laughs> I know. It was very cute. <laughs> Fine. You've convinced me. I'll order Chinese. Oh, what am I going to make tonight? I got a couple Hello Freshes that I need to cook. So I'll make one of those. No, the place is closed down. That's why I was saying she did it in my childhood, not she does it every time. Uh, it closed down a while ago, which is sad, but what are you gonna do? Um, Chinese food in England, not the same as Chinese food in America. Um, American Chinese food. Uh, American Chinese food and English Chinese food are very different. Um, I've adapted a little bit, but uh, it's still not quite like what I want it to be, if that makes sense. Is it better or worse? I mean, I think it's worse, but it's because I'm looking for a specific type of like flavor, you know, out of things. Not enough MSG legitimately possibly yeah i am i am pro msg so <laughs> like yeah if they don't put msg in their food here then maybe uh, maybe that's the problem <laughs> spike loving, thank you very much welcome drinking. to the cat gang thank you for subscribing <laughs> yeah, maybe I just need to find the right place, dude. Well, that's I think that's kind of why I'm specifying like American Chinese food. American Chinese food is not like traditional Chinese food, you know, but I think it has a specific vibe to it. <laughs> like the Americanized Chinese food. Uh, is like hyper specific and I have a very nostalgic attachment to it so yeah I mean it's fine <laughs> the Chinese food in England it's fine I'll eat it doesn't make me go oh this is exactly what I was craving not really Every country puts a spin on any restaurant in it. Absolutely. Absolutely. The, um, you know, we go to, there are a, a couple of different places here that are like American, you know, and they're fine. <laughs> they're fine because for the most part here, American food is like hot dogs and burgers and it's, well, I shouldn't say it's hard to fuck up a burger, but like. They already know how to do chips pretty well here, fries pretty well here. So, <laughs> you know, the fries are fine. Uh, the burgers are, you know, they're fine. Hot dogs, really easy for people to fuck up here somehow. The hot dogs are n never as good as the hot dogs in America. The curry must be nice. Depends on the place. Depends on the place. No oh, Hebrew National. Yo, Hebrew National are the best. Hebrew National are the best ones, dude. Why is that? Why do they crush it so hard?
Why do they sell hot dogs in jars? Uh, that's another thing that I've had to get used to. But, you know, um, I'm all for shelf-stable hot dogs. <laughs> I'm okay with them being in jars. I've gotten used to it now. But, yeah, jarred hot dogs was very weird for me. How do they sell them in the U.S.? In, in like, a plastic package that you put in the fridge. So you buy them in glass jars here and they're shelf stable and you can just leave them in your pantry until you want to have a hot dog. And that's pretty tight. I've gotten used to it. Yeah, Hebrew National, um, they make all beef hot dogs. So um, they make kosher hot dogs, basically. But they're just, they're delicious. Um, I don't know if they're only in America. I have no idea. But that's why they're called Hebrew National, is because they're kosher hot dogs. Oh, I just remembered I have a bunch of cat. I might do, speaking of, I've got, I've got like a sausage that I really need to use. I might do like a sausage cabbage thing. That could be good. Chop up some onions and some cabbage. I think Sam bought bacon. Cook up some bacon. Cook the cabbage and the onions in the bacon grease. That's what I'm going to do. That's what I'm going to do. We do have some potatoes. Could do some potatoes too. But I also have, uh, I riced up some um, cauliflower that needs to get used up. So we could put it on top of cauliflower. So we could do both. Let's see. Can I boo boo? I just wanted to make sure it wasn't a buggy. Because we don't want buggies, do we? Um, I basically, anytime, if I, if I need to mince up some garlic and I have a few extra minutes, I will, I'll just peel like 10 to 15 cloves of garlic and pulse them in my, in my tiny food processor. I'll just pulse them and then put them in the fridge. I use garlic often enough that I, I go through it. <laughs> Yeah, and then I just pop them in my mouth raw. <laughs> I mean, my God. No, I I pulse them up to be like minced, and then I and then I take a little dish and I put I put it in the dish. I make you know. I make it nice for the baby. I have a pumpkin waiting to be obliterated. I'm so bummed, dude. I bought a couple cooking pumpkins. And I planned on pureeing them and then making like a the the pumpkin syrup that I normally make. And within a day they were melting. <laughs> I was so upset. I was like, oh my God. I didn't realize you were so far gone. I know. Rip. My mom likes to put the blended puree into ice cube trays for the freezer. Nice. I use it. Um, I use the puree to make pies, pumpkin pie. And then I use some of it to make a, um, a, a pumpkin pie syrup, basically, to add to coffee. It's very good. But they belted. So I guess not this year. <laughs> 
I could just buy pumpkin puree. It's just nice when it's this time of year. It's just nice to roast up your own pumpkin, dude. <laughs> it's fine. I'll live. Do you still do Thanksgiving stuff at all with the little one? Yeah, we were just talking about that. I've, this is my third year not being able to go back to America for Thanksgiving, unfortunately. So we planned to. We were going to. Um, but I can't leave the country. So, yes, in the future, we plan to do Thanksgiving in America. Um, we'll probably do it in October when she has half-term break. Uh I was talking with my mom about that and I was like, yeah, you know, it sucks that Thanksgiving doesn't happen in October because then we could come out there for like a week and a half or something. Um, and Clark wouldn't miss any school. And my mom was like, oh, I mean, we could just celebrate Thanksgiving in October. I don't give a shit. <laughs> it's like, oh, okay. Yeah, that would be great. Yeah, we could do that. So. But yeah. So the, in the future, yes, we would love to. Um, and last year we did. Last year we did a, a Thanksgiving thing. But this year, nar, nothing. I got too bummed about it, so I'm pretending it doesn't exist. <laughs> but I was saying that uh, we're waiting. Once my immigration stuff is, like, confirmed and we're, like, out of the woods, um, we'll just, we'll make a big deal of it and have like a big meal and stuff and be like, it's late Thanksgiving, but it's also, yay, I can stay in the country. You get to have spook giving. Oh my God, we do. <laughs> no, at least here. I get to panic about that soon, too. Oh, free. It'll be okay. We're both fine. We're both fine. It's just a pain in the ass, and it's a lot of stress. So, solidarity. Um, no, in England, uh, so each term, they just have a big break right in the middle of it. <laughs> so uh and in between right so we're in autumn autumn term right now so at in the at the end of october they had a break and then um at the beginning of december they'll have a break or like the middle of december they'll have a break that is a couple weeks long for christmas and then when they come back it'll be a new term and in the middle of that term in February I think they'll get a break right so that's just like for whatever reason um they get lots of breaks here which I'm I am a big fan of I think kids should get lots of breaks um but young me is jealous <laughs> young me's like man I wish I had that many breaks dude How many terms are there? Three. So there should be autumn, winter, uh, spring. Each half term is one week holiday, end of term is two weeks. There you go. American schools have a much longer summer break, do they? We used to get, we got three months off-ish, depending on the school you went to. We got three months off in summer. More breaks usually comes at the price of longer school days. Not for Clark, at least not yet, but she's, she's also in like the equivalent of kindergarten. <laughs> Six weeks of summer break. Six weeks? That's it? Really? I don't know. I feel like I might have I might have traded a long summer break for more frequent breaks while in school, you know. Ending. 
end of July. Really? She'll be in school until end of July? <laughs> That's weird, dude. <laughs> what? Weird. Weird. Yeah, uh, in America, typically you your break starts sometime in June and you go back to school like early September. Damn! Oh, my my baby. I would have died if I had to do like PE in Arizona during July. Yeah, no, thank you. Holy shit. Clark had dance class yesterday and she came home and she was like, Mommy, once again, where does this kid get the attitude from? She, <laughs> I can't imagine. She goes, Mommy, once again, my ballet shoes were forgotten. <laughs> She's four. And I was like, yeah, that was my bad. Because I was trying to get all of your stuff together for a different thing. But I'm sorry. I totally forgot about your shoes. And she was like, next time, please remember them. <laughs> it's like, okay. <laughs> Okay. Yeah. Gentle reminder, mother. <laughs> I am incapable of putting my ballet shoes in my bag. <laughs> like she's your manager. I know, dude. Oh, my God. One thing she does that I that is so helpful is she'll come home and be like, Mommy, there's something very important in my bag and you should check it at once. <laughs> and I'll be like, thank you for telling me that because the number of times that I send her off to school and then go, oh, fuck, I didn't check her bag to see if she was sent home with anything that I needed to see. Ugh. <sighs> <laughs> Dear mother, you're solely responsible for the absence of my ballet shoes. Yeah. I was telling uh um I was telling chat at the start of stream that Sam has been staying up later and later and later. And um I've now created a rule in this house that if he stays up until the moment that we wake up, he's getting roped in. He doesn't he doesn't get to come up the stairs and be like, "Oh, are you guys waking up? Well, good night. Love you so much." I'm like, "No, absolutely not. You're you're awake still. Fantastic. You dress her. I'm doing breakfast." <laughs> He doesn't get to sleep. Absolutely not. He made a mistake. He fucked up. Why is he still awake? <laughs> you know? So. So now. Now, in the future, I'm going to be like, bro, there were two adults involved. The ballet shoes weren't in there, but like, that's not just my fault. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Whose job was it this morning to pack your backpack? I don't remember, actually. So it could have been either of us, really. Clark's starting to get to the age here. When she hits five, I think I'm gonna I'm gonna make her a little like even if it's just pictures, I'm gonna make her a little list that's like these are the things you're responsible for, you know, these are the things that in the morning I need you to check this list, make sure you have all of these things. I will try to remember to double check, but this is like your that's your responsibility now. I'm not about to be that parent that's like. 
oh my god there was one there was a a uh, you know like an influencer parent a content creator parent who made a video <laughs> where she was like my five-year-old apparently went to school without any lunch and they called me about it and i said yeah well she didn't make her lunch that's her fault <laughs> And I was like, this poor fucking kid. I can't imagine at five, your parent being like, making your lunch is your job now. What? And not, and if they don't remember to, like not double checking to make sure that they had something to eat. And of course, everyone in the comments was like, that's, that's ridiculous. <laughs> not, the, not the school. You. You are ridiculous. You're five now. It's time to pay rent. <laughs> like, what the hell? That poor kid. I hope that kid's doing okay. But it is interesting as your kid gets older, like, identifying things that they want to do for themselves um things that they really don't like doing and the older they get they try to come up with more creative reasons not to do them oh my god clark tried to pull a, a whole ass grift on me last night and it was hilarious she was going to the bathroom and she was like i'm gonna brush my teeth and i was like okay tight when we brush our teeth we we count we count um, up to 60 because you're meant to brush your teeth for 60 seconds, right? So we count to 60. But obviously, counting when you have a toothbrush in your mouth <laughs> sounds very different to counting when you don't have a toothbrush in your mouth. I'm sure you can guess where this is going, right? So um, uh, Clark is in the bathroom. I'm like getting her room ready. Clark's in the bathroom going one, two, three, four. <laughs> and I was like, is she, does she think I think that she's brushing her teeth right now? So I just looked in and she was just standing there like five, six, seven. And I was like, brush your teeth, homie. What are you doing? <laughs> Uh. Yeah, I got I got tricked, dude. Holy shit. My other favorite thing is when she wants to play hide and seek and she'll come up with a million. You know, you know when people basically uh when kids are playing together and one of them just decides they're the Mary Sue, you know? Um, Clark will be like, we're going to play hide and seek, but if I'm singing, you can't see me. I'm like, okay. So I'll count and then she'll just start singing constantly. And if I see her, I have to pretend I haven't seen her because she apparently has a magic power <laughs> where if she's singing, no one can see her, you know, and eventually the game gets boring And you're like, okay, well, I guess I can't find Clarky. I guess she's not here. And she'll be like, I win. <laughs> like, yep. No one found you, dude. You win. You're so good at this. <laughs> Yeah, you can't, like, that's the thing with kids. They can, they can, like, make up a rule off the bat. But if you try to make a rule to join in with the other rule, um, sometimes they get very offended. This is a thing we're working on currently, is, like, you aren't the only one that gets to make rules for games when everybody is playing sort of a thing. Um, so, yeah, if I were to be like, ah, but I have... Um, super mommy vision and I can see through the sound waves she'll be like no <laughs> no you can't you know she doesn't know how to yes and very well yet <laughs> she's four 
She's four. She'll be five in April. All my siblings, Renee, I make the rules phase around that age. Yeah, it's very fun. She's super creative. She wants to play all the time. She's really into board and card games currently. I started, I put a bunch of different like board games that are for her age range um, in, in a cart. And it's just been sitting there because I'm like, can I justify buying this many board and card games for my kid for Christmas? Maybe. But Sam and I decided on Saturday we're going to look at everything that we plan on getting Clark and be like, okay, this is too much. Or, sure. <laughs> you know, we'll see. <clears throat> yeah, I grabbed – hold on. So I also grabbed a bunch of books. Oh, my God. I grabbed so many books. <sighs> but – um, I got her a, she's really into card games right now, but her hands aren't, aren't big enough to like reliably hold the cards. So I got her one of the little card holders that you can get. I think that's going to be a smash hit. I got a few of them for when the other kids visit. And then I got, um, I got Outfoxed First Orchard, which comes highly recommended by a bunch of people. First Orchard. And Sequence for Kids, if any of you have played Normal Sequence, there is a Sequence for Kids that's all image-based. Um, so I grabbed those three games. I had grabbed a few more, and I, I chucked them out. <laughs> so. Yeah, Christmas is close, dude. I bought all of the gifts for the other kids done. They're all done. Um, but uh, Clark... Sam and I need to collaborate on. Sam and I are very bad at buying gifts for one another. Um, so I'm pitching that this year they can be small things. Um, but I'm pitching that we try to get something something small that the other person wants and something small that the other person needs. I like that because it means that we'll have to like observe each other a little bit, you know, <laughs> to be like, what's something that they would actually use without it being spelled out for me. What's the cardboard set? Oh, it's right here actually. I, I brought it in here so I could show it to you guys. Yeah, this is the cardboard thing. Hold on. I got these for all of the kids, basically. All of the kids that would, like, be able to use it. Um, but they're all tools to use with cardboard. So if you have cardboard boxes in the house, they're things to help you make forts easier. So these are, like, little screws and a little screwdriver to, like, screw pieces of cardboard together and a safety cutter to cut the cardboard but it, it can't cut skin um so yeah it's like a whole cardboard construction system a whole a whole kit so if you have uh if you have st stuff in your house um like a lot of a lot of cardboard and stuff then you can get this for kiddos and they can make forts and things That's on the back. <laughs> it's five and up. I think I think my four year old will be fine with this. But yes, it says five and up. I think as long as they have good like hand eye coordination and dexterity, um, you know, it, it totally depends on your kid. But like as long as they'll be able to like grip and use these things and not try to eat them, I think it's fine. <laughs> I was getting one of the things for um, our niece and Clark saw it and was like, I want that. And I was like, oh, well, we'll have to see. Maybe you'll get one. And she was like, I want, I want that. I want this one. This is the specific one I want. And I was like, okay. <laughs> I try to involve her in the process of like, what should we get the other kids, you know? Um, 
And so she enjoys that, but it does turn into her being like, wait, we're getting that for him, but but I want that. <laughs> My niece is two and a half. It's so hard to find age appropriate things sometimes. So um, our niece is three and uh, we got her, um, I'll go grab them. So we got her, she's in a very like, she's she's like in a learning emotions stage sort of thing, right? We got her these, some little sensory bottles. Um, she really values her like, go off into a corner and sit by herself while she's processing time. So we got her these and then got her, I got um, this book for both her and Clark, but it's it's a book where you open it up and then uh, you put a flashlight on it and then you can see stuff. Hello, my darling. How are you? What were you talking about? Nothing. Yes, you were. Nothing? I wasn't talking about nothing. You were talking about something. You're right, I was. I was talking about Christmas stuff. It's a secret. Oh, why won't you tell me? We don't do secrets in this house. You're right. We don't do secrets in this house, do we? No. I was talking about the the presents that you and I picked out for River, for our niece. Huh? What's our niece? <laughs> I don't know. Niece. Niece is a word for, um, so like you. Rib niece. <laughs> niece and nephew are words for what um, uh, daddy and I would call your cousins. What's this? It's tea. I like the smell of it. Do you? I like it too. It's a really pretty smell. It's a very pretty smell. Yeah, I think so too. Well, I was just worried that it was going to drip a little bit. That's okay. Yeah. That's like a little mushroom cap, huh? Uh-oh, is it dribbling on you? Yeah. <laughs> put it down, put it down. No, 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 it's got water in it, baby. That's why we had it upside down like this. So this could drip into the top, and then I can wash it out, huh? That's neat, isn't it? Okay, I'm going to say bye-bye. Hello, bum bum. Hello, bum bum. Hello, Hello bum bum. Hey, you, you, you. Hello, bum Hello, bum bum. bum. Hello, bum bum. Hello, everyone. Okay, go on then. One of your friends named NASA. Is one of my friends named NASA? No. Your fans. Oh, one of my fans? Where did you learn that? That I have fans? Do you think I have fans? Yep. Why? What makes you think that? You have fans when you're working. Do I? Yeah. What made you come to that conclusion? Why do you think that? Because of nothing. Because of nothing. <laughs> I thought it in my own head. You thought it in your own head? I was just curious what about our job would make you think that. Because I don't think mommy and daddy have ever said that we have fans, have we? <laughs> You're funny. You do. You do. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mommy. Yes, honey. I thought this was a popsicle. No, oh, it's old. I found it. I need to throw it in the rubbish. Ooh. Can you go get changed and I'm going to say bye-bye and turn off my stream and then we can hang out, okay? Yeah, go for I get it. Yeah, get changed and then you can draw, huh? Can you hold these? Sure, I'll hold them right here.
Absolutely. Okay. Yeah, let me say bye-bye. Um, let's see. Dojums, thank you very much for the gifted sub. Ursa for the two years. Happy anniversary. Dunkor for the 97. Patience for the 26. Greedo for the 37. Brand Brand for the 5. Myth for subscribing. Welcome to the Cat Gang. David Maresh for the 57. Liffy for the 35. Wizarino for the 27. Watch Chris play for the 34. Wizardy Sloth for the 70. Not It Cool for the gifted sub. Thank you very much. Zovis for the 65. Popscockles for the 44. Spike for subscribing. Welcome to the Cat Gang. Avi for the gifted sub. Pineapple Mage for the 59. Phantom for the 43. Diagonal Dylan for the 20. Boxa for the 93. Rocky for the gifted subs. Frankaboom for the 9. Happy Twitch baby. Um, For some reason, it deleted the big raid from Lena. Thank you so much, Lena, again. I'm sure you're in bed by now. Um, But any of you who... Uh, came over from Lena's raid. Thank you so much. I hope you'll come back again. We have fun here. We have a good community. And I don't always fly off the handle and turn into a toxic mess. Is that the truth? Who knows? You'll have to come back. You'll have to come back to find out. Hands on hips. <laughs> Alrighty. Uh, let me see really quick. Um... No, where's the channel point window? Hold on, I have to reopen it. Beep, ha beep. We had a Valentine from Anime Hero. It said, happy Thanksgiving to Dodger and all the friends in the cat gang. Dodger, thank you for being an amazing streamer and person. I'm wishing you a world of happiness today and I'm thankful for your lovely community. Thank you so much, Anime Hero. I appreciate it. Um, nobody grabbed Raid Leader, so let me look and see. What toxic mess did I miss? Nothing. Nothing happened. <laughs> what toxic mess indeed? It's a great question. Um, let's see. I can send you over to Seza. Doing some painting, it looks like. Jump Troop, thank you so much for the gifted subs. Okie dokie. Let's go say hi to Seza. Um, I will be back doing Dracula tonight after my kiddo's asleep. That'll be around 9 GMT. Yes, baby. Hi. I'm just saying bye. It is my mm -hmm. rainbow skirt clean. Yes, it is. It's hanging up right where the laundry is around the corner. Go look. Okay. I will see you guys next time. Take care and bye-bye.